Hey there guys, it's the Sentinel from Across the Tabletop and we've got a matchup tonight lined up for you. It's going to be the White Scars from Rich and then we've got the, the Tyranids from Ewan. The Tyranids are going to be run by uh, 2,000 points, is that correct Ewan? Yep, that's right. Yeah, and you're going to be running two, uh, two, two detachments. Two patrol detachments. Two patrol detachments. And then Rich, you're bringing a 2,000 points of Space Marines. Yep, White with, Scars. White Scars, nice. Outrider detachment, Battalion detachment. Ready to go. Okay, do you want to run through what you brought okay. with you then? Everything's WYSIWYG, convenient, easy to do. Uh, start from the characters, we've got a chapter master in the middle, um, two warlord traits, uh, and the Imperium Imperium sword, Chagur and Storm, up to 10 attacks. He's got the burning blade, he's an absolute beat stick in combat. We have a normal librarian, well, Primaris librarian, he knows Null Zone and Psychic Fortress. Uh, and then a little change to the list, we've brought an Apothecary because um, I got rid of the Blade Guard, they weren't really working for me and I want to try Armour of Contempt. For the troops in that detachment, we have three sets of Assault Intercessors, one just bog standard five man, two other five man units with the Plasma Pistols because I had ten points to spare. Um, five Aggressors with the Flamestorm Gauntlets, they've been sort of a staple of this list, running forward, flaming everything, and then three yeah, we Redemptors. see the beautiful triplets yeah. at the back there. Yeah, all WYSIWYG. They are uh, a, a key part of the list for me. They uh, they really do work. Um, and then in the Outrider detachment, the uh, Primaris Chaplain, still trying to make him work. I'm not quite sure he's up to the points. Yeah, points have gone up on him, hasn't he? And he's just a little yeah. bit... Yeah, and when you roll ones on those litanies and they go off on twos, yeah, it's really painful. So he's got the Master of Sanctity upgrade. He's got the Crozius upgrade relic and the Warlord trait to make him a wise orator. And then three units, bog standard, outriders. And that's it. That's 2,000 points. Nice. Um, the chaplain, he's got the Crojan, he's got the relic Crojan or? Relic one, yeah. The relic, Benediction the Benediction of Fury. Fury. Okay, awesome. And then your 2,000 points, detachment of which one is it? What? So Five I'm fleet? As Kronos. Kronos. So get. Uh, plus four inches to all my ranged weapons, and then at some point we'll pick the uh, adaptation as well. Uh, my warlord is the Neurothrope. Um, he's got direct guidance as his warlord trait. Uh, I'm running him with Catalyst and Onslaught. Uh, the Swarm Lord's in there. Uh, see how well he does. I've not actually played him before in this, so it'll be quite interesting. Uh, and he's got his he's got Catalyst and Psychic Scream, and in that detachment with them is a set of three warriors led by a Tyranid Prime who's going in as slotless thanks to the new ability. Um, and then for the elites in that one as well, uh, Zoanthropes, I'm technically taking them as slotless even though I don't need to. Uh, but we've got five of those. And then just for the sheer joy of it, we've got the new Parasite of Mortrex coming in today. Incredibly yeah. painted by the way you and this is. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, so that'll be that'll be quite entertaining. He managed to on his own kill three custodes in the last game. No way. With, just, just with the mortal wound output for rippers. So we'll see if he can do anything vaguely the same. Uh, the second attachment is the Trigon Prime. Which one's that uh, one? Which is the, this one? Oh, here. Trigon Prime. Yeah, Trigon Prime. And uh, he's a HQ. He's going to be running the HQ wow. now. Oh, I didn't realise he was HQ. Yeah, they moved him. So they moved all the Trigons and the Morlocks to Fast Attack, but they moved him to HQ, which I'm quite sad about, because it means that he takes up a slot he doesn't need to. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then with him, there's the Wing Is that time. the shooty one or the close combat one, then? They're both close combat, really. Oh, OK. It's the, the, one, it's the one that doesn't do so, the... So. Yeah, it's the one that doesn't do the um, Orbital Bombardment equivalent now. Oh, OK, yeah. Where um, he doesn't come up and start affecting everybody. Yeah. Because uh, that was the old one, didn't he? He used to come up and do that's, mortal wounds um, for everybody. Yeah, that's the Morlock. Oh, that, that's... OK. Yeah, the Morlock now... See how many times I play Nids. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Morlock's now an orbital bombardment, then he comes up. Yep. So, quite interesting. And with him is the uh, Winged Hive Tyrant. We're running the Reaper of Obliterax. I've paid a CP for him to have... The wings uh, on these are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, but I've paid for him to have... Um, the Chronos specific Warlord trait, um, which is called Soul Hunger, uh, which is an aura ability that within 18 inches, uh, that basically means that the Librarian on the other side will perils on any doubles as long as it's within 18 of that. Yep. Uh, he's running Paroxysm and Psychic Scream. 
Uh, I've then got three units of termagants, all being run as flesh borers. And what does the flesh borers mean or do? Uh, so they are 18 inch range now, rather than 12. Still assault one. Yeah. Their strength five, AP minus one. Which makes no difference. Which makes no marines. difference against them, <laughs> apart from. But the strength five is going to be massive. That's going to be a huge difference. Yes, it's huge because it used to be strength four yeah. and AP nothing. It's still essentially AP nothing against marines, but it does make a huge difference on the strength five. Oh yes, we're going to see a lot of dice being rolled here for these yeah. guys. Then we'll see if they survive the onslaught 20 in a unit did you say in each unit yeah be. nice okay uh um, and, and everything anything else there's a lictor in there oh yes Just yeah the little lonely lictor hiding um you're gonna see how he does um and basically try and get him in behind somewhere and actually do some damage there's the carnifex he's got a uh, gun is that right? He's got a gun. I didn't realise Carnifexes could have guns. <laughs> yeah, he's got a gun. He's got a Scything Talons, a Stranglethorn Cannon, and then I had some points left, so he's also got some Spine Banks for a bit of extra shooting. Nice. And a Thresher Scythe. And I've given him the Synaptic um, Enhancement for the... Um, I forgot what they're called. Synaptic Links? <laughs> no, the... <laughs> That's all right. We'll we'll come back with that. I'm sure you remember in the game, and we'll point it out. If there's um, something we've missed, we'll let you know in the game. Yeah, it's it basically got it's basically synaptic. I've just forgotten what the actual is. adaptive physiology. So there adaptive we go. physiology. Okay. Um, and then the exocrine as yep. well at the side. He's the last model. And okay. And there, there's some slight changes to this now from the old time. Yep. It used to shoot twice. Yeah. Used to have six shots, so essentially you get twelve shots from it. So what's the new rulings on it? What's the new stat line on the extra So it's now D3 plus 6 blast weapon. Uh, roughly the same stats, although I think it's now damage 3 instead of damage 2. Yep. Um, and so you get on average 7 to 8 shots yep. over the 12. You're only firing one, one now? Only firing once. But okay. if, I, if, it, if it moves less than half its movement, which its main movement is 8, so 4 inches, yep. or there's a stratagem that let you do it as well, uh, you can ignore cover. Oh, so move less than four and ignoring cover. That space marines don't like that. Not no. currently. Space marines don't like no. anything that ignores cover, yeah. because they like to get the extra bonus for being in cover in the AP. And it just makes them super resilient. Yeah. Um, so, even even I would say anybody doesn't like being taken cover away from them. I hate it. <laughs> in pure fist player. <laughs> it's not really, but it, um, I've also given him voracious ammunition. So if he hits a target at least once. Then he on a two plus at the end of the shooting phase, um, he you take an extra D three mortal wounds from him at the end at of the, the shooting phase. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's at the end of the shooting phase. But yeah. I will double check. Well, that's going to be super cool. And it, that's so everything. I say first is after it finishes making its attack. So after okay, it, so after, after it's, it's finished shooting, after it's shot. Yeah, and and that's everything. The, the nice. was the end of the shooting phase. That's yeah. Right. Okay. Well, that's really cool. Uh, we'll go through the psychic powers when they come up who's got what, where they're all going, and I'm sure you guys at home will follow along. Um, we'll probably do try and get Ewan down to do a deep dive on the, the nids himself, because not any of us here actually got any experience. If Rich is free, because it was he's old, old school nids, aren't you, Rich? Yeah, nids from so, so maybe we get some uh, comparison between the 8th edition and the ninth edition now. Um, so that's the armies. We're going to come back in a minute once we set up and we've got them all deployed, and we'll run through the missions. Back in a minute. Okay, we're back with the mission. We're playing uh, Natman Data GT 2022, mission 32, Death and Zeal. Um, mission special rules on this one is sticky objectives with obsec, which means that in the command phase, if you have an obsec unit or troop unit that has the obsec keyword on an objective and you move off it after you've held it in the command phase, you still keep control of it. We've got control one, control two, control three, five objectives. We've got corner deployment in the centre, and then we've got direct assault. This is the essentially the old direct assault. But you get two points if you control kill. kill. You get two points if you kill a model off any objective, and you get uh, three points if you control all the objectives and you kill someone off an objective as well. Um, and they've got to hold it at the beginning of their turn. So that's going to be interesting to see if any of those points are going to be scored. You know, we've got lots of shooting, lots of killing. And then we've got the units deployed. So... Here it comes then. Tyrannids have taken the closest to us in the bottom right. And then we've got all of the wonderful White Scars, Space Marines holding the lines, come to help out Baal of the, the uh, what are they call Blood Angels, <laughs> over in that corner. Um, just run us through where everything's been deployed then, uh, will you? Point out and just point to what unit's where. Yeah, so we've got Neurothrope and some Gribblies at the back. Gribblies at the back, yeah. Hiding, Swarm Mods carrying here. 
Well, I say carrying. It's yeah, Swarm Lord, Swarm Lord down um, there with some warriors. With some warriors, Zoanthropes, the Execrine, Card Effects, and then some Gribblies. More Gribblies. Front, hoping to get onto this objective. Yeah, yeah, move on to that we objective can. over there on turn one with that um, advance, yeah. Then the Tyranny Prime, followed by more Gribblies for the next objective. The Winged Hive Tyrant and the Parasite, both hiding at the back, and the Trigon in the and middle. And the Trigon in the middle. Oh, that's quite heavy with the monster build up straight up on the lines. And how has uh, how's Rich re counter deployed? Intercessors hiding back. Home yeah, objective. you can lift it up. There we go. Look, to you there. Some Safe five man intercessors sound. doing that screening around the back. Uh, the Plasma Dreads. Yep. Assault Dreads. Flamestorm Aggressors. More Assault Intercessors. More bikers. Yeah, nice. Chapter Master and Apothecary in there. Librarian Backing just hiding yeah. back here. Is he got the Fiver Pinvon, essentially? Uh, yeah, the yeah. Fiver Pinvon and uh, Null Zone. And Null Zone. So, uh, we'll see how that goes yeah. for him. Um, <laughs> two squads of Outriders and the Chaplain. We all know how quickly how they're they, going to yeah, move. Yeah, 20-inch move, turn one. Yeah, and little unit of intercessors Yeah, just here. to make that Objective preventive dash. push out there. Okay. So that's all the units deployed. That's the mission. We've got the most important role of the game. So people say it's going to be turn one. And uh, we've got a dice each, yeah? Yep. Here we go then. Turn one. Oh, it's oh. going to be the Space Marines. Oh, I don't know if that's probably a good thing or a bad thing. Can we just quickly run down secondary, see if that's all right? So who took what? Rich? I took uh, Assassination. Assassination? Yes, quite a few. Character Gribblies in there. Is it five or six for yourself, you in character wise? Uh, yeah, five or six. Five or six, yes. Yeah, so there's a good number of there to score. Uh, Stranglehold. Stranglehold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. It's a five objective marker. It's not a bad one to choose at this stage. And grind them down. I'm hoping I can kill more every turn than he can. Yeah. Or I'm in a better trouble. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that, that should be possible. You've got your dreadies at the back there. Going to be not easy to remove. And then uh, yours, you in your three secondaries? So I've also got Assassinate and Stranglehold and then Raise the Banners. And Raise the Banners, yeah. His Gribblies are going to be running around, making sure those nodes have gone up for the big beast to come down and start sucking up all of the Gribbly stuff. So that's going to be awesome then. That's going to be really, really cool. Uh, we'll come back after White Scars turn one. As you'd expect from the White Scars, they have so aggressively been moved up. It's like they, it's like it's turn three. So uh, <laughs> yeah, what has, what's moved up? We've seen... The, the chaplain, chaplain and his special bodyguard bikers. Chaplain, special bodyguard bikers. Now, he didn't get his plus two to charging off, or...? No, like last time, yeah. it goes off on a two, rolled a one, I'm going to go and burn that dice. But you did get the other one off? Uh, the plus one to wound in melee. Plus so one to wound. Nice. They're all coming around into here in a moment. We've got intercessors out. Intercessors have shifted up here. Yeah. Ready to take that one next turn. Dread's moved out. Again, Vancing. Uh, no, just moved. We had this redemptor just poip its head out there. Yeah. The aggressors, I saw you make that roll, and he should have seen the smile <laughs> on his face. It was, a, it was a five, wasn't it? So it was like, well, yeah. six, it was like... Sprinted over. Sprinted straight into the middle there with those. Yep. And then we've got the aggress uh, more... More bike. outriders up there. Again, another great advance here from him. Yeah, and the assault intercessors yeah. to take that objective. So it looks like there's going to have, what, 10 units charge in turn one? <laughs> Getting there. Getting Get there. there. Okay, uh, so that's everything. Did you want to do your psychic? Yeah, so uh, we're going to start off with psychic fortress. Yeah. It's not going to go off. Oh. Um, I'm going to spend one of my CP to try and get it off. So I started on six. Yeah. Um, went to seven on went turn to seven. one. Go back down to six. The question is, is anything within Shadow of the War? Is that 18 inches in the yeah. Shadow of the War? Yeah, I yeah. think you will be. I, I, I think it's really. failed again. So we just measured it out. He is within the 18 of the Swarm Lord, the Flying Swarm Lord, is it? The uh, Fire Tyrant? It's the Parasite. The Parasite. manages to get him. Yep. Awesome. So that's going to be minus one. So that isn't actually going to be able to go off because it goes no. off on a six with a minus one from the Shadows in the Wall. Unfortunately, the Psyker isn't getting off his powers. The Chaplain's sort of stuttering around on, on his bike as well. Oh. We're doing perils though. That's but no one perils. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that stacks as well. Um, and did we say it perils on a double, did you say? So if he's within 18 of the height of the winged hive tyrant, it perils on any doubles. Any doubles. And, oh. and Shadow of the Warp. Uh, oh no, it's an aura now, so it doesn't stack, does it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so cool. Shooting then. Shooting. This is the best bit of the white squad to do a lot of shooting. This army does anyway with the three dreads <laughs> anyway. <Yeah. laughs> Where would you like to start there, Rich? So we are going to start with um, Pain of CP for Heroic Fusillades to make all of the weapons on the Gatling Cannon Dread yeah. into Assault Weapons. 
into assault weapons. Oh, interesting. Okay. So he's got a flamer joyously. So we're going to put the flamer, the storm bolters um, into the little gribblies. Into the little gribblies, yep. And the onslaught into the carnifex. Into the carnifex. Yeah. Nice. I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can do to stop it. No. <laughs> just, just hope that he doesn't get lots of shots off. Okay, so he was given reroll everything by the chapter master. Yeah, he was standing right next to him, chapter master screamed at him. You can do better this son, this turn round. So onslaught into the carnifex. So we're hitting on threes. Um, are we hitting on fours with the minus one, or do you not suffer with that? I, uh, I'm a white scar, so it's assault. Yep. Part of the chapter yeah. tactic, that's amazing. That's yeah. what we like to see. So all hits. Yeah. Carnifex is our toughness. Eight, I want seven. to say. Seven. They dropped yeah. down toughness. Well, no, they were always seven. Oh, okay. They've just not gone up toughness. Not going up. So toughness seven against your. Is this the heavy Gatlin? Yeah. For strength six. Um, so five. There'll be five. Do you subtract one from the damage? This is yeah, seven. is there any damage one weapons? So that's a good roll though. Yeah, there. So there's six there. Six at minus two. Uh, oh, you don't no, get the devastator, no. it's only AP six one. At minus one. Yeah, because it is a assault weapon now. Lost the heavy, so it doesn't get the touch of the devastator doctrine. So three pluses because the card effects are now two pluses. Two plus into the box, please. So three plus. Oh my Top oh. two. That's not three. bad. It's three. Was it? Oh, yeah, what's your point? Oh, yeah. sorry, I didn't see it. <laughs> Damage one. Damage one, yeah. Damage one. So it's down to six wounds. Six wounds. Oh. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, it's the only shots he's got on you at the moment, so Convex is still going to be sticking around. Number of shots with the flamer into the termagants. Yeah, for five. five. Uh, that's all wounds. Yeah, five yeah. wounds. Yeah, AP one. One. Is, is it a heavy? Is it a heavy flamer? It's a heavy flamer. So it's AP. Oh, it's heavy. It's yeah, heavy too. But it's a soul. So I chose the snap yes. imperative yeah. for five pluses on them this turn. For five plus in one balls, snap synaptic. Oh, that's right. That's right. Like that's one. Yeah. <laughs> Just the one dies. That's pretty damn cool. So storm bolt is, is you're within 12 inches so you get the uh two storm bolters so four eight shots eight shots yeah hitting on threes re-rolling everything because the chapter master oh didn't convert any of them ah <laughs> they, they toughen us three or they toughen us four now three is still three still three so that's so gonna be five, five wounds ap one one now which is five or five yeah yeah Wow, again, <laughs> again, only one. What is wrong with these nids? <laughs> and they're, just, they're just slowly replacing the unpainted ones. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, that gonna... should have been like, there should have been like twice as many dead there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. At least. <laughs> but there you go, that's what a fiver pin bun does if you can get it off. Isn't that right, <laughs> Mr. Librarian? <laughs> Getting a five plus in one off. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They've got to be within six inches of the snatcher comparative to work, but they clearly are. So. So we're going to use uh, this dread here. We're going to point him at the Swarm Lord for his plasma cannon. Oh, 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 the Swarm Lord at the back here? Yeah. I thought I hit him back. Well, do they not get lookout, sir, then? Uh, he will do. Uh, no, in fact, no. he's over 12. Too many. 12 oh, wounds. I thought they got it, though. Too many wounds. The Tyrant Guard gave him... Gives him oh, so the, you have to take the Tyrant Guard to, to, take to get take the Swarm. Guard, uh, ah, OK. Guard. He has got up a toughness though, so he is now toughness eight. Okay. There's nobody else in range, so yep. it's just going to be that. That's what I was trying so to do. Two oh, shots. Two shots from the plasma. Are we overcharging? Yeah. Oh, no Tony. He's hitting on fours because of the minus one. From the dense terrain through the middle. He has to be able to see the whole of the enemy's base without going through it. It's one to one, isn't it? One yep. middle each, isn't it? So you have to go through this base here, and you have to be able to see. No, no. You have to be able to see the whole enemy base. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was now you can, if you can see him, you can see him. But when you're going through dents, if any yeah, part I of that can't... model touches the dents, you have to be able to see. You have to be able to go through one part there and then through the base. And if it goes through the dents, then you get the minus one. Yeah. I thought it was so one. no hits then. I, I thought it was one mil. I thought it was no, one mil. Not, not right. the, okay. One mil line for line of sight, but dents is you have to be able to be able to see no, the I whole think. model. So uh, uh, we'll, we'll say, for instance, we've got this attack by Kim. We see we've got a tiny little bit at the back here. Well, if the aggressor can see the whole model at the front, 
but that tiny little bit at the back, it can't, it, it's got a dense bit, but you take the minus one. Ridiculous. But yeah, uh, that it, it, vehicles get it, everything gets the minus one essentially. That's why the minus that one. one for, wrong for a really <laughs> long time. Um, you have to be able to see Unless the whole base. straight lines, one millimetre thick to every part of at least one model's base. Yeah, so you go from the front of the base the one mil, to the back of the base, but you have to go through the whole part of the model. Is that a weird triangle thing? Yeah. Right, okay, nothing here. Yeah. Next year. Fortunately, unit. yeah. So this guy is going to well, suffer the lens. At least you got one bonus there. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take what I can get. Yeah, but, it's, but a big unit like this, if you've got the big unit here and you've only got half of the squad that is in dents and you can see one guy that isn't in dents, you don't take the yeah, minus yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. But if you can kill all the way up to that dents, they, you still don't take it. It's really bizarre. Yeah. So he's just going to pour yeah. everything into that unit. So there'll be no minus one here because he can draw yeah. one line from his point to one modeler here, which is yeah. him, without going through the dents. So the plasma is blast. So... There's no point in overcharging. Yes, because he's over yeah. 10 models, yeah. Oh my goodness, there's two Ooh. ones there. What's going on? Two wounds. Yeah, he, we got the fiber pin bomb with the synaptive imperative. <gasps> what? One. He still makes one. That's Honestly, three gaunts. These, uh, these three gaunts. gaunts. These gaunts have survived <laughs> so much firepower because of this synaptic imperative. That's three gaunts down. We've still got the bolters, and I think this he's one's got, got the, the Gatlin. Yeah. So... One hit with a bolter. That is a wound. wound. Yeah. So you've got another five up. Unless they have a four up save. There's no AP they're, to this bolter. They're only, they're only five up. Oh, he's he made, made another it. one. That's it. We're checking these dice. <laughs> That's, yeah. That's going to be all my luck. The, the Icarus rocket pod. Yeah. Are Icarus is, Icarus is on blast. I don't think. So two shots. One hit. They're just D3. They might be. <laughs> no. They, they might be blast. We'll double check that. It's going to be an extra shot as it is. Just grab us that marine book. And then um, the little, the baby onslaught. Baby onslaught, yeah. Oh. And that's going to be four wounds with the baby onslaught there. So the Icarus right. rocket pod. is not large. It's not blast, it's just heavy D3. It's yeah. better against aircraft. Okay, so we've got three, five, five, ah, uh, four, five ups. Yeah. Let's see if these blue dice are going to be cursed for the rest of the game. Oh my oh. goodness, there's another two. That's five Gribblies <laughs> so far been squished by some really heavy firepower. Yeah. <laughs> That's all three Redemptors, and we've killed you know, five Gribblies and took three wounds off the, the Carnifex. And the Carnifex had a three up save. He had the best save of all. Yeah. <laughs> he, he found more saves. Right. We are going to do some charges. Oh, char that yeah, because these are all advanced, so they that can't was shoot. kind of an obnoxious yeah. first yeah. turn, to be fair. <laughs> so we're going to have the, the bikes now charging. We're going to charge oh, yeah, I'm too far away Gribblies and the Tyranid Prime. What's it too far the away piece. for? Uh, I just might have had to keep them more screened than I thought oh. about. That's right. So that isn't. Yeah, I see what you mean, yeah, because you had the, the two or three so, units in front yeah, of it. Yeah, just under seven. Yeah. So I just make it with them. If I go with him he's, like that. He's, he's yeah. got to make it. Yeah. Him like that. And then I'm going to bring him to there. Yeah, to stop him from blocking from the chaplain or the other bikers getting in. <laughs> chaplain <Yeah. laughs> into the good place. Sorry. That's seven. right, seven inches from the chaplain. He is going to go He's straight go into, into those there. gribblies. That does mean one of the attack bike units is not going to be able to get in. It's not what he probably wanted because of that movement there from the attack bikes. So, yeah. Um, anything else charging? Big drag. Big drag. I think I saw you measuring it, but I didn't hear what you said. Was it a seven? I think it's an eight. That's we reckon it's going to be uh, an eight. Them. I've got the little. Yeah, we're going to use thing. our little see through thing. Yeah, it's just over nine. I think if you can... don't push him back, it's going to be. Well, uh, if you just grab one of mine, nine. mine's cut off the side, That's nine. which is directly nine. It's going to be there. it's going to be nine because they're just over nine away. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, that's going to be just over nine inches. Need a nine. There's no. Three. <gasps> Come on, is the CP going to be used here? Or are we going to use it for these? I'm assuming you're going after the parasite. 
I saw you looking yeah, at yeah. it when you I'm, developed I'm go them. After the parasite. So he's going to charge the parasite. You are going to get Heroku intervened because they are characters. Oh yeah, there's, there's, yeah. Uh, there's several Heroku interventions. Like no, that, I'm going to re-roll for the dread. You're going to re-roll for that dread. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. We need the nine. It's fire. Oh, it's <laughs> one edge <laughs> shot. Oh no. Uh, and then oh, those bikers into those. Into the big. Yeah, yeah. There Just is. Into the Just into yeah. the griblies because he's got enough tax. He should be able to finish these off. Quite quickly, and uh, I'm assuming right. they're fearless uh, as long as they are within six inches of a synapse creature. Okay, yeah. I don't think you have enough attacks to kill them all, then. No, no, probably not. Um, because you got what 20 attacks from the unit or something like that? 21 attacks. Uh, they get six each and one more for the sergeant. Yeah, so 19, you've 19. killed two. Yeah, there's there's 18. 18 left in the unit. It's not gonna it's, happen, it's not gonna happen, is it? Not with my rolling tonight. <laughs> nope. uh, don't forget, we do have CP on the opponent's side here to use for a but intervening, I'm sure we're going to get the right choice of which unit's going to fight first. He's going to attack the Prime. Yep. yep. These two into there, so... Ooh, okay. Going to the Prime first. Run us down the Prime stats. Uh, yeah, he's, he's hitting on threes. He's he's he, is he hitting on twos or re-rolling anything, your guy? Uh, he's not the Sergeant, so... No. He's not got anything cool. But we did get the chaplain, chaplain off. Is plus one to wound. Plus one to wound. What toughness is your guy there? Nine. Toughness five. It's going to make a difference then. Yeah, it's going to be three. Yeah, well, yeah. It'll, be, it'll be fours because he's only strength four. So it'll be plus fives down to fours. Isn't the chainsaw plus one? No, it's no. AP. I know, yeah. AP. But no, no plus one to strength. Yeah, so we're making fours. Power swords are plus one to strength, and you you can't even upgrade the sergeant to carry a power weapon in the outriders. No, come on, GW, can make them a little them. bit more special. Nothing you can do with them at all. Yeah. Yeah. So win on fours now. Win on fours with a reroll. Uh, no reroll. No reroll. Oh. So two wounds. An AP one. Oh. Onto the brood. Uh, the. Prime. The prime. I don't even know what a prime is, but uh, he's on fives. He's got five ups. Oh, he's failed them both. Oh, if he was in all doctrines, that'd have been four, four damage. Yeah. Would that be enough to kill him? Uh, he's got three wounds. So oh, done. would have been enough to kill him then as well. It's all right. So oh. these two now into the griblies. Yeah. We were discussing it right at the beginning if those one of the units were going to go into all doctrines for that two damage. But I suppose he never really thought he'd get to the prime with the way the units were taken away. Uh, uh, so it's plus one to wound. Yeah, so it's fours to wound here. Oh no, twos. Yeah. Twos on the Gribblies because they're strength toughness three. Still managed three ones. Oh, so okay, so are they, you get your five up in bomb with you? Yeah. Seven. Seven five ups. Seven. Okay, we've seen him roll some amazing five ups. Is he going to continue that streak? You're in. Are you going to continue it? Ooh. Oh, he made three! <laughs> and, and, I know we're laughing, but just making just a few at a time is, is massive. So that's going to be four Gribblies dead. Realistically, you want to be taking them off the back, I yeah. think. Are you in? Yeah. Keep those bikes locked in so they don't oh, get I'm any extra to... movement. Now the Chaplain. He's got like seven attacks, isn't he? Five. Five, oh no. It's twos right. to hit, though. Plus, uh, he's got twos and twos essentially because he'd be strength six with his relic. Yeah. Or strength seven. And sixes to win, do a mortal wound. Yeah, do mortal wounds. I can see one at least. So, one mortal wound, three saves. Yeah. Minus. Ridiculous. Oh, it's minus You're two. In minus two, yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it two or three? It's two and then goes up to three. Yeah, it's oh, AP. For the relic. For the relic, yeah. It's AP one for normal Crozion, AP two for the relic, which on Assault Doctrine goes mm -hmm. up to three, yeah. Oh, he's going to miss him where he puts his blue ones. Just three. Yeah. He's made one! Oh! I don't think he was ever oh. rolled this far. But the chaplain bounced! Oh chaplain God. bounced! One more Just one more to wound. What is it with these gribblies? Just... Is it the curse? Is it the curse of the white scars? I, it, it, might, it might be like. <laughs> I might stop bringing my white scars, Matt. I just, it just... might just be, have to be Drukari all the way. Oh. Might, might have to be the new guard with a load of Marines just. A uh, load of guardsmen just wounded on sixes. That's a hit. Oh. Okay, so we've still got this unit down here, and hopefully they're going to do their job and wipe out the whole unit. Because someone needs to do some killing. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to use the super. Well, that's good, though. Oh, that's very to good. Start. To start, he's dropped three so far. And he's looking at threes to wound now, though. Because he hasn't got the plus one over this side. Oh, I see it makes There's a difference. There's a few more being dropped out there. So that's much better. That's what the white scars should be doing. So that'd be 13. 13 wounds. He's still going to have models left though. 13 wounds though. 
How many can I make? On How many? Time? I'm going to estimate five the way you've been rolling. Oh. Oh, two, three, three, three. three. Okay, three. three. That's not bad. So that's going to be ten. Ten Gribblies dead. Now that's how you kill Gribblies. Oh, he's already failed already. Uh, no, that's stupid. <laughs> now you in, this is your, what, your third game with them now? Yeah, I'm not used with to the With the new codex? Is I'm it third to... game with the new codex? Uh, yeah, I'm not used to the six inches yet. I keep thinking it's 12, and so I keep okay. taking away, and they go, oh no, I've got to stay within six. Yeah, stay within six, because they become fearless. And so far, he's got four off. I'm going to do the Six uh, is pretty fact, big, though. Six is the entire unit, uh, regardless, yeah. so actually so, it doesn't really matter. Um, and we just moved in over there with yeah. our piling over there. Chaplin didn't get to move very far, but he's going to do enough damage, I reckon, in return. <laughs> two, three, We're just four. removing 10 here. Four more. There. So that's 12 lost from that unit. That's going to leave eight left, I believe, if my math's done right. Yep, there's yeah, there's eight, eight like... gribblies left there. Oh, so I think we lost about, what, 20? I think you lost 20 in total through the whole... If not that, I don't even think you lost 20. That was really bad, Rich. Yeah. Really, Gribblies should be gone. There should be no Gribblies left on the table. No. <laughs> Attack and now, back. And now it's my turn. Okay. Uh, so we'll start with Prime. He's four attacks. So I still think the damage two would have been enough and maybe, because you could have fought with both of them being in there and just try and kill him with that damage two. Yeah. But of course, yeah. like you said though, at the beginning, didn't think it was going to get to him, <laughs> to be honest. No. <laughs> so four attacks, two plus. Oh, there you go. Wow. His luck's gone oh, now. Finally. All the fives are gone. Uh, strength five, toughness five. It's a fours. Oh, it is a, it is a wound, though. Uh, and it is AP minus two for the dual bonus fours. So, so minus one. Oh, and I get one additional attack, which I forgot about. Which hits. It doesn't so, wound, so it didn't matter. So, so these are AP two down to AP, AP one. Four ups. And the four ups matter. They are now custodians across the board. Marines, four ups across the board, essentially, now. <laughs> Uh, all the Gribblies. Four plus. <laughs> Fours to hit. Are oh, they hit better than they did used to then? Uh, no, it's, ident it's identical. It really is just identical. They, they haven't changed the stat line really. And their strength for these are three. Three, so it's going to be five. Fives to wound. <gasps> you make three. Make three. No AP to these, I'm assuming, because it's no. combat. And it's failed on! <laughs> oh. One of the bikes has had a little bit of his chainsaw nibbled out of him. There's a bit of acid on him. Five, six. And his boots are starting to get dirty. And the, <laughs> and the other eight. The other eight over here onto these bikers. Again, hitting on fours and then fives to <laughs> wounds. Two of them. But we've got two oh, wounds two with wounds. these magical sixes again. And we've oh, taken two oh. down. Oh my goodness. But Marines are feeling the punch in combat. Well, this yes. should not be happening. It should not be happening. Yes. And for anybody wondering why I can <laughs> attack with all of them, it's because... It's currently two and a half inch range for combat with endless swarm units, which they are. Oh, wow. So, oh, you mean the front rank, second rank so, sort of thing? Yeah. So Got can, yeah. So uh, it doesn't really matter that they're not, not all of them are not within the half inch, within yeah. half an inch rule. Oh, okay. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, we're but glad we questioned it. So that's all the attacks. That's all the assaults. That's all of the combat done. There's no morale to take for anybody. Uh, no. So how many points did you score at the end of that then, Rich, of your turn? So just stranglehold was achieved. Stranglehold. Brilliant. Three for Stranglehold, and we'll come back with Ewan's turn. Uh, turn one. So you're back after the Nids have moved, and they've done their first turn movement phase. We've seen a lot of Gribblies move around. We've also used a strat during the command phase to bring some um, more Gribblies back. So you brought back uh, D3 plus three. Yep, and it was a roll of six. You so rolled the six. six. Oh my goodness, that was six. You do that in the command phase, and then he fell back with them. So that went from an eight to a 14-man unit. Didn't really kill much there, did you, Rich? <laughs> uh, we've seen the uh, Khan effects move up with the Exocrine. We've seen the Swarm Lord just push up with the Warriors. The other Gribblies fell back out of the uh, Outriders and the Chaplain. And then these Gribblies that were here, the, the Gorts have just pushed through the wall and I'm going to prep to go off there. So you had some Command Phase stuff, which was uh, the yeah, Swarm Lord gave reroll everything to this unit. Yep, so reroll everything. We roll ones from the Tyranid Prime, and then they also got plus one to, to hit. 
Uh, so plus one to hit, reroll everything, hit, yeah, and plus one, and reroll ones to wound. So basically, they've got the Lieutenant ability on them, they've got the Chaster Master ability, and then they've got the Tech Marine ability. Yep. If you were going to go Space Marine sort of Goodbye ideas. Outriders. Yeah, and then we can see where their target <laughs> is, which is the Outriders. Uh, was there anybody else who got any abilities apart from those? So plus the Warriors one to hit got reroll ones. The Warriors got reroll ones, so a captain standing by the to give them abilities from the High Tyrant, yeah. And then the Zoanthropes are currently obsec until the start of my next. And again, that was well. a point, um, a point and choose a that unit from the Swarm Lord. Yeah, from the Swarm Lord. And then they advanced over the wall, and they made a massive six-inch advance there and landed on the objective. We've had the tri Trigon move up here. We've had the Swarm Lord with wings. I keep calling it wrong. Hive Tyrant. Hive Tyrant, Tyrant thank you. Hive Tyrant is pushed out, the winged Hive Tyrant. And, we, uh, and we're going to see some psychic stuff going on. So we had a quick discussion before going on who's doing what. Where would you like to start with with who's doing what? So we'll start with Paroxysm. Paroxysm, we're going to start with the, Tyrant, the winged Hive Tyrant. Which is going into the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought, Roger. This needs a... I'll do it. Uh, it needs a seven. A seven to go off. We've got, got a denial. Two yeah. Oh, he gets a third dice. Why am I oh. not doing it? Yeah, oh. you've got the three dice roll, but yeah, he picks matter. the two eyes. That's fine, though. It still went off without the denial. Yeah. And then what's that uh, doing? That's going to so deny. Then we're also going to. Uh, what does that do, that power? Okay, so that denies Overwatch. So it turns off all Overwatch. And it also makes him minus one to hit. Me. Minus one to hit in combat, or, or at all. Just minus one at all from, from the Dreadnought, though, because yeah, it's a specific, targeted it power. Oh, sorry, minus one to wound in melee. Minus one to wound, oh, that's even worse. Oh, what? Minus one to wound in melee. Two is um, down to three is to wound in melee. Okay, nasty. He's then going to smite. He's going to smite the closest model, which is going to be the aggressors. Yep. Three dice again, pick the highest. Yeah. I always forget that. Yeah. And he's oh. got a super smite, but he's also, because I'm he's not going to take, he's not gonna take the super don't, smite. Don't you have to pick the highest? Or is it you pick? No, no, you pick. You get to pick. Oh, oh, you okay. don't want the super smite. I do want the super smite. I don't want a perils. Ah, oh, you're not this early in the game. You already take D3 <laughs> perils. A bit later in the game, maybe. Yeah, okay. Well, that goes off at the D3. He's got a second smite, uh, second deny, but he's going to hold out for something else. And he's going to take two, two wounds, wounds, but the apothecary's going to go, no, I'll only take one. one. He doesn't one. feel that. And the third power this model's going to do is... Uh, he only gets two. He only gets two. I would have took the super smite then. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go then. Uh, so the next power is going to go off from... So the next power is going to be the Neurothrope. The Neurothrope down here, yep. And we're going for... Oh, boy, I've lost the sheet. That's why it's not helping. Uh, no, that's all right. So we're going to start with Catalyst. Catalyst, which is a five that feel no pain. Yeah, and we're going to bounce it bounce through the nodes. All the way to the winged hive tyrant. Bounce it to the winged hive tyrant. That's going off and on a... a plus one, so it's going off on a... Six, six. That's, that's a eight. seven, so that goes off with that's an eight. eight with Fine, no denial there because it's so all the way into the back. Five plus four pins, and then we're going to symbio storm the um, the Grivenies in front. Yeah, here. and the bio storm is a plus one so to their strength of their weapons. Is that yep. right, correct? Yeah, that's right. And that's and going off on a seven, seven, need a six. And that goes off on a off. six with the plus one. What does? Why does it give you the plus one? Why do you get so the plus one from? Neurothropes, neurothropes get a plus one. Get a plus one. Oh my goodness. Nids are broken. And we've only got to turn one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who's next? Swarm Lord. Swarm Lord. Whoop, whoop. Both. He's got Catalyst and Psychic Scream. And, but Catalyst already been done. So yeah. we can't do that again. So we're going to smite. And smite to the Outriders. Yeah. This is the second smite, is it? Yeah. And so uh, it's line of sight. I don't yeah, true line of sight. First smite, so it's the most el first eligible. So you eligible. bounce it when you want to. Smite doesn't bounce. Right. So we're going to these outriders here. Yep. From the swarm lord here, and it's true line of sight to the nearest eligible unit. Yeah. So that goes off for D three. Six and that goes off one. for one. It's fine. One. one. No, this unit here. No. no, no. Yeah. And then psychic scream again. It's just another smite, essentially. It is not. Is 18 inches and does not require line of sight, so it's just the closest enemy unit within 18 inches. So it's going to be that outrider unit hide behind that wall then. Yep. That That's doesn't go off though. Here. We're not going to CP it or re-roll it or anything like no, that. We'll keep no. it for the Let's move on to the next one then. So the final one is going to be the Zoanthropes. The Zoanthropes in the middle, yep. So they do smite. I'm currently casting on seven because I've only done it twice, but I get a plus five to the roll. Because there are five. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's five in the model. Five models there. Five there. there. 
Yeah, they get plus that. one on Witchfire or Smite for each one. Okay. So there was no point in saving my deny for this, really, <laughs> well, was there? You could roll a double double six. You could still deny a double, double 12. No. no. If I, it depends on how no. high I roll. No, right. But I might roll really high, and they do get plus three to on their damage as well. So he's only rolled a six, six. with a plus five, nine, so it's 11. Nine. You can still deny. Mm -hmm. I told you you could die in a 12. Ah, and he rolled a nine. Oh, oh. so close. But that is going to be a super smite with a plus five. Yeah. So, so it's going to be D6. D3, D6 plus three. D6 plus three. And he's going to go on to the so Outriders because they're the closest. They the closest. So it's going to be nine wounds to the Outriders. No. Six oh, six plus, oh, eight wounds, sorry. Because it's D6 plus three. Well, it's three because that's what I rolled. Oh, okay, sorry, six wounds. We know what we're talking about. It's going to be six wounds. Six wounds to yeah. the Outriders. Oh, I wasn't quite close enough to get the aggressors who's at, who's at who's the your actual, actual target. Yeah. yeah, But that's still going to be pretty impressive. That is two Outriders just outright smashed there. Yeah. Ouch. The uh, the Carnifex has now got his juicy target lined up for his charge. He's going to see, if he, them down there. see if he makes it. That's it. So uh, that's all the psychic stuff, I believe. Yep, that's everything. Wasn't as, as impactful as I thought it was going to be. I thought they were going to do more damage. But that's still... Oh, still scary hell. Still scary. Yeah, yeah still yeah, he still pointed at models that he's lost. Yeah. So we're looking at doing the shooting phase now. Where would you like to start there? So we're going to start with the Termigants here. The Termigants there. They're an Assault 1, I believe. They're Assault 1, so I've got so 20 shots. 20 I'm shots. I'm going to point on Skilled Outriders. Skilled Outriders? Minus 1 to hit. So that plus one to minus one is going to be massive. He's going to take him back to his hitting on fours, I believe. <laughs> but he has he is re-rolling everything. Yeah. Hitting on fours because of the plus one to hit is now gone. Yeah. And he's um, going to be re-rolling everything. Plus one to wound. For, yeah. It's, it's and uh, he's put transhuman on it, so it's going to take yeah. that away from you. So we're hitting on fours. Fours because you took it. Yeah, away. that's it. Re-rolling everything. Okay. Here we go. Looking for those fours. Oh. <laughs> It's just, it's just as bad. Always change dice, guys. Nah, nah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, yeah. so we can take the misses out. Now we're looking for fours to wound. These are AP one normally, but the you know space marines oh, now have the armor contempt. These are going to be AP zero essentially. I'm looking for fours to wound. Oh, that was not good. We got two by looks of it. Uh, but you get to reroll ones. You do get to reroll ones. Okay. Oh, oh. Sorry. Try just it again. Yeah. And yeah. uh, we got four in total. And he's fine with his three saves. Yeah. Makes them all. The next unit. The next unit is going to be the Warriors. The Warriors, yep. D6. Okay, D6 um, shots then. And they're going to go into there. So four shots. What do they? Uh, what's he hit on normally? And he hits on threes. So he's going to be hitting he on fours. He does have reroll ones. So we're hitting on fours, rerolling ones. And I've got one one. Well, he's hit on fours all the time. That minus one to hit is not... Paying out just yet. So He's going to be wounded on fours regardless because yeah. of transhuman. It's normally strength six. Normally strength six, so mm. it's going to be two wounds. AP on this. AP is minus one. <gasps> Which is going to ignore, so there's going to be three ups. Oh, and he's made a buff. And, whoop, then, whoop. and then six death spitter shots. Which are hitting on fours. It's an assault three, but I'm hitting on fours again. Yep. It's going to be wounded on fours regardless of transhuman. We got one, one AP. AP two. These AP one. He's made it He's again. Ah, oh, armor contempt. Pull it out of the bag there. No, no, that is a lot of shots that came in from there. We were, we were worried, but we always knew that the two needs to do their best damage in the psychic phase and the charge phase. So we're just gonna have to wait until that comes into effect. Yep. Where are we shooting next then? The Trigon is going into the lone biker. <gasps> Trigon's gonna try and finish off the lone biker outrider hid behind that wall there. He came yeah. in at some of his mini griblies. He's trying to get some revenge. You can see the blood around his feet where he's crushed them and his outrider bike has squished all the mini ones. And he's like, that's where my target is. Assault eight. Assault eight. So hitting on threes. Hitting on threes then with the trigon. Oh, that's all by one. All but one. And then strength five, AP minus two. So go for fours. That's three of them. Three AP two goes down to AP one. one fours. Oh, he's taken one. one. He's taken one. What's the damage? Uh, it's just the one damage. One right? damage. Oh, down to three. They come on out, Rider Sergeant. So, Carn effects. <gasps> Carn effects. Yeah. Carn effects is going to put his spine banks, which is five shots, into the lone guy there. Yeah. And then he's going to put the Stranglethorn cannon into the 
Uh, dreadnought. <gasps> does it do any mortal wounds or anything like it that? It does not do mortal wounds. I'll wait for it. Armour Contempt. Yeah. You can, you, you can call that when you see the mortal wounds. The way it's dragged red. Point. Right. Yeah. But you yeah. couldn't use it. Same with the psychic stuff. Once he says, once you say oh, you've got three mortal wounds, that's when you take it because it initiates the armor contempt CP of the, the, the stratagem when the unit takes mortal wounds. So he's only hit number fours, the card effects. Oh, oh, he's only hit, oh, he's not as good as hitting as the rest of them then. No. Oh no, fours to hit then. So five from the swine banks. Yep. Yeah. He hits half Three of them. times, yeah. He's still rolling high, high on those five, sixes and fours. Yeah, fives against fives. fives. So fours. Oh, fives three, three wounds. There's no armour though. Oh, three ups. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's all twos. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that is an outrider unit squished. Mortal wounds and shooting from the nids. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We uh, don't want to worry you there. <laughs> into the Dreadnought. Into the Dreadnought. This it's is the big cannon. D3 plus 3. For the shots? Yep. What? Five shots. Five there. shots. That is ridiculous. <clears throat> D3 plus 3 hits. Oh, I know. And it's, yeah, it's almost it's as bad as the, fly, the Tau Flamers at D6 plus 2. Stop giving them plus 2 to hit with Flamers. <laughs> I'm very much in agreement here. Um, so fours again. Ooh. Oh. That's yeah, that, yeah, it was too focused on the bikes. That's what it was. Uh, T7? T7. So threes, strength eight. Strength eight is a wound. Just as well. AP. Uh, minus two. Oh, he takes it. Minus. He takes, takes it. Two damage. Down to one with the reduction. Just bounces off that Dreadnought. He was too focused on the Outriders. You know, he didn't really look up fast enough to get that hitting on fours to the, the Redemptor. So the That's Redemptor just got, bounces. I've got one guy left. One guy the left. The Exocrine to fire. The Exocrine is the big guy. Yeah. It's D th he's going straight into the Dreadnought. <gasps> oh, okay, okay, yeah. It's, it's like a nice line there, straight into the Redemptor's head. Yeah. He's going to go with the headshot. It's We've seen it on COD before. Let's D see it in the nids. D3 plus th six. Oh, no. D3 plus what? Six. Six? six. Seven yeah. shots. Seven shots. Oh, it's a new profile instead of firing yeah, twice, isn't it? Okay. Um, I'm not going to use... Seven shots. There is a stratagem here that I could use. You've got eight CP. Um, so I'm going to use one CP. Yeah. Which part of now, it does the ignore cover, which would mean that if I moved more than four inches, which I didn't, it wouldn't matter. But also it explodes sixes. So sixes to so sixes explode. Sixes to hit are two hits. Oh, two hits. <clears throat> so you've got exploding sixes already on it. No, no. It's, sorry, it's in two hits total. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. exploding sixes. Yeah. And plus one. At yeah. So, <laughs> Sorry, that's just me. Yeah, <laughs> eyes crossed and everything. <laughs> Trees with six exploding. Trees to hit. Oh my oh. goodness, we got two. The, so the two misses just automatically hit. That's all of them yeah. hit then. Well, he's changing we'll the change dice over. Dice, he's though. changed the dice. He doesn't want the ones and twos right. to come back. So it's threes again because it's strength eight. Strength eight against top of seven. Oh my oh, goodness. It's not as good though. There's three drop, four dropped. That's only three wounds then. And how many wounds have you got left? Oh, he's looking well, for a CP. 12. He's thinking about a CP for the reroll wounds. Um, What's the damage? Nice shot. It's damage three. So I drop to, to the six. Oh, okay. I drop the dice. We're looking for a three. We did. We go. got four. An AP. AP. I think it's two. AP minus four. Oh, so it goes to AP three. So we're getting saves. Six. We're getting saves. That's right. Yeah, six is for four of them. Oh, we make one. one. Oh, that's massive because so that's, that's only really six, six damage. damage. I think that keeps him in his top bracket still. That's huge. He's taken seven wounds. I think he needed to take eight. We'll check on that though. But that um, is all the shooting done. Yep, yeah, I can't think of any more shooting that I've got. Um, fell back, fell back, fell back. Everybody else is shot. Is he top bracket? Oh. Uh, no, just in the mid. Oh, oh he's in middle bracket. Yeah. So he has dropped down a bracket. What? How many wounds he got left then? Seven? Six. Or six wounds, yep. Yeah. Seven would have kept him in the top. Oh yeah, doing that extra damage there from the uh, the uh, was it the Carnifex seems to have made the difference. If he hadn't put the Carnifex shot in there, it would have stayed in the top bracket. Yep. So we're going into the combat phase. Is that correct? Yeah. So okay. Then. Charge phase. I've got to work out some charges. Okay. So uh, we had a quick discussion. We know where all the units are going to go. So point them out where we're charging. So Carnifex and the Trigon are both going to try, try and make and eleven get... inch charges. Yep. The winged hive parrot is going to go. He's ignoring the paroxysm that he put over there, and is going to come back the other way because I want to try and score. What was score. it? We worked out. You need to score. Is what I need. And you I'm need not... stranglehold. So they're going after the outriders. Yeah. yeah. The parasite around there is going to try and get around and try and infect some 
Assault Intercessors. Fair one, around the other side. Uh, and the Warriors and the Warriors Gaunts are both going to try and charge. Into there. We're hoping yeah. to kill one, are you? With, uh, the, with the, both all, the units to I kill one? all three, I'd love it. But yeah, yeah you're not going to kill all one. three. If I'm <laughs> going to get one, I think. Unless I roll really, really yeah. well, I'm going to get the one. So, okay, so where do you want to roll first for then? Uh, so we'll roll the Winged Hive Turret first. We measured out five inches, is that right? Five inches. Seven, Six. so perfect, that gets him onto the objective even yeah. better. Okay, just get there. Yeah. We'll go the Warriors, which works out as a four. Or four even. That's so a six, so they're going to be fine, yeah. We'll do the movement after. Okay. Um, the little gaunts. Little gaunts. We're going to go ten. ten. Oh, that's massive. They're going to massively gonna swarm. Massive they might just go around and just creep everything in, yeah. And then the big ones, we said so two 11 inch charges. We'll start with the, the Redemptor. We'll start with the Carnifex. You go. Got two CPs thinking about it. Oh no. No, no, Overwatch. Let's go for the 11 inch charge. Oh, oh my goodness, it's so close. It was so close. 11, it was definitely it? 11. We definitely checked. Need 11. 11 inch from the other one then. No, seven. Oh, okay, um, no worries. Parasite. I won't CP them. I'm not going to CP the 11 inch charges. No, okay, no. and the parasite. And the parasite needed a six. Nope. Oh. But that is possible to CP now. But I will CP it because it's far oh, more oh, likely. Oh. That's your always change your dice. Change your dice. It's so a five. The parasite stays where he is. Okay, no worries. That's probably not a bad shout, to be honest, but we'll see. So we'll come back after we've moved all these giant gribblies in because it'll just take too long. Uh, and we'll see you once they've moved in. Okay, we're back, guys, after all the small gribblies and the tormagants have made the move. The warriors have pushed in. It is now time for the best part of the game. Heroic interventions. The chaplain, is he staying where he is? Oh no, he's found a way through. <laughs> and there he goes into the small gribblies. We just realised when we were trying to measure her intervention away from the warriors and then went, well, he doesn't have to do that. He can just go to the gribblies. So yeah, the chaplain has made his rogue intervention into the ghiblies. Gribbly, tribblies, ghiblies. Gribbly, ghiblies. That'd be the one, yeah. So where would you like it's to start? We've got a heroic. Giblets, which is what they will be. Yeah, we've got two CP left from the White Scars for uh, that jumping in front of you to strike next. Yeah, so it's going to go for the winged hive tyrant first. The winged hive tyrant first. Yeah. So he gets Wouldn't have been attacks. the choice I would have made, but... Yeah, I'm not playing the game. No, no. So here we go then. We're throwing some dice in a box from sure. the winged hive tyrant into the outriders. Now I'm assuming that there's no CP to be spent because I'm assuming, just making one assumption, that two CP is going to be used here to interrupt. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> that seems sensible. <laughs> I mean, whichever one I don't attack, he's going to. Yes. Go for. Yeah. Um, so five attacks, <laughs> hitting on twos. Hitting on two is um, all I, scary, scary. And I re-roll ones due to the lash whip. To the lash whip, nice. I get to re-roll one hit or one wound from the tail as well. From the um, tail. So it won't be, but it won't be the uh, hits. Okay, then here we go then. Hitting on twos. There is the one. And we get to re-roll that. Yep, two, so two. all hits. And then I am strength 10. <gasps> Twos to wound. Oh. Massive. And every single one that wounds, regardless of whether it goes through and does damage, is one mortal wound. In addition. In addition. <gasps> and he gets to re-roll just one dice, but that's, that's all of them wounded. So it's going to be five mortal wounds. On top of how many AP? Damage. AP minus four and <gasps> damage three. What? Success. Oh my goodness. That is terrible. Yeah, you made one, but that is the bike unit yeah. gone. Of course, the downside of this is they were the infected unit. It, yeah, but... So I won't get any weapons next time. Oh no! Never mind. <laughs> you never mind. Too but much. you secured your uh, your points for stranglehold. That was the biggest point. Yeah. Yeah. Stranglehold has now been secured. You've now got the points for that. So, uh, and this was all because the outriders obviously have made their push in turn one to block anybody getting onto that objective, and that's why we had to do that to ensure the points were scored. So now we're going to spend the two CP. I'm assuming they're rich for your white yeah. outriders to either fight the warriors or the griblies. Who's it going to be? Warriors or the big Gridleys? What's have your warriors got combat weapons? Run us through the strats yeah. on, the, on the stat line. It's Scything Talons and Rending Claws. And they mean so, absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Scything Talon, three attacks. The Rending Claws are strength six, AP minus four, 
and the Scything Talons are strength 5, AP minus 1, but they get one additional attack, so they got 4 attacks. So, okay, so we'll Warriors that. are definitely the biggest threat. <clears throat> We're all damage 1. Yep. So we got how many Scything Talons at AP 4? Two Scything Talons, Ooh. one Rending Claw. One Rending Claw, so it's the AP 4. Oh, the Rending Claw is AP 4. Oh, okay. So we know Those which one's not going to be killed. So 3's to hit here. Toughness of your Warriors? 5. 5's to... 5's to wound. That's not good. He's toughness 5, your strength 4. Oh, is it the chaplain still going? The chaplain still got the plus one to wound or off. Yeah. Nice. He goes to the command phase. Fours. Oh, it makes a difference. Oh, I see at least what two fours there. That's going to be five wounds. At AP one. Let's see those so warriors fives, die. It's five saves or five plus saves or five plus involves. Five plus saves or five up in bonds. I make two of them. One, it's two. So it's three wounds. That's one warrior one down because there are only three wounds a pop. So the Outriders have killed a, a warrior, which is massive, in the return fire. Okay, so let's see those dice from the warriors, and let's see those AP4, you know, talons yeah. ripping through them then. So, four attacks. Get an armor save now. AP4, AP3. Yeah. <laughs> so, four attacks from Scything Talons. We'll keep best on us. Yep. And they're going to hit on threes. And they still re-rolling ones still? Uh, they are still re-rolling ones. Nice. Three hits. Three hits. Strip. Six, you so, said, is that correct? Uh, not five, five on these. these are five. Five, scores. so these are going to be forced to wound then. Only the one. Only the one, so it's one six up, say. Oh, no, there it He's is. It. Oh, Armour Contempt pulls through the bag again. Side and Talons next then. He gets the extra attack, he said, with the side and Talons. If no, I that get was that right. the Talons. That was the side and oh. Talons. What's the other one called? The other one is the Rending Claws. The Rending Claws. This will be six up, say. Yeah, but it's just that the side and Talons and the rending, rending Claws is just like, oh, I don't know which one's which. Yeah. <laughs> so, threes are rolling ones. <laughs> so that's just, oh, well. just roll, yeah, just just as well, yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice, all hit. Uh, this is on threes because these are the ones with the plus one. So he's a strength six. He's got two wounds. Two, and then minus three because of the armor contempt. Yeah, they would be uh, minus yeah, four. Damage, I mean. They would be uh, one each. So it's that's one enough one. to kill a bike. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. <clears throat> okay, but that's one for one. If you think about it that way, one for one. Now the Gribblies, you said, were two and a half inches, did you say? Yeah. Okay. From the front rank, essentially? Uh, from the model that they're attacking. Oh, so they have to be within two and a half inches. So it looks like we've got one guy that's out. One guy's definitely going to be out. Those two are out. So that's a three inch marker, yeah. Those are in. He's definitely out. So, okay, I, so I lose three. Three guys not so fighting. Got 17 shots. <laughs> 17 goes with them. 17. Rerolling Everything. Hits. And we're rolling ones to wound. And the plus one to hit the is plus one to hit it's just for shooting, is it? It's just shooting. Yeah. Okay. So fours are rolling everything. Ooh, might need it. Yeah, it looks like it. Might be better on taking the ones they hit out at this rate. <laughs> there we go. We got the six hits so far with the re-roll. Can fours. we do better? That is a little bit better, yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'm now on fives because I've only strength three. Oh, but you know, one or two of them just going to be enough. The outriders ones. are going to kick out here, I reckon. We're rolling ones. That's four ones. That's a few um, fives as well. It's four wounds so far with a re-roll. No AP to them, though. There's one more. we got five, five wounds. Come on, Rich. Make those three ups. Oh, he no. takes one more. Oh, 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 oh. Outriders are losing to small griblies. This is not good. Not good at all, but we've got the big champion still to fight. Okay then, come on then. This is the chaplain now fighting, hitting on twos, wounding on twos. Any sixes? No. No sixes? Oh, we've got three. Do they still get their invon? Do you still get it? They do still get, still get the invon because they're within six inches. Okay. Five ups. He's oh, made two! Oh, oh, oh. What is wrong with it? It's over that no, way. It's over that, that way. Is, but it's only one though. <laughs> only one grim late. This is just insane. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> But that is everybody four and everybody's done their combat. Oh, we've got the, the Gribblies to fight back yeah. against the Chaplain. Yeah. I don't know if we did that in the right order. It might have been they fought first. No, but you killed I heroically yeah, yeah, so, yeah. 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 yeah, I think it should go back and forth at that stage. Yeah, it, then? Yeah. it starts with him. So. I'm glad we got that bit right then. <laughs> so we lost one. How many have we got to fight then? Uh, I think I can get all of them in, actually. All of them? Uh, all by one. All but one. Uh, so fours, no rerolls. No rerolls this time round. So we just picked up the ones that hit them. That's going to be four hits. 
Chaplin isn't scared of the Griblies. No, Not really. He's going to have a three up save. What uh, strength are you? I'm strength three. You tough as six? Toughness five, unless he's got oh, five, wall or one traits. One. Yeah. That's only the one. You can take a wall or trait and make him toughness six. <clears throat> but that is one now. And he, oh, he takes the wound. Oh, my goodness. That apothecary's got some work to do. He's running across the board next turn. He's bringing an outrider back and he's healing that chaplet, chaplain. Then that's the mission. That is the end of round two. Round one. That's the end of round one. End yeah, of round yeah, one, yeah. sorry. End of round one. Yeah, um, so it takes a while to move uh, 60. Yeah, so that's the end of round one. Let's do some scoring on the doors. You've got Stranglehold. You didn't get any assassinate points because the chaplain is still kicking around. And the other one you took was Raised Banners, which I'm assuming you didn't do. Uh, no, I didn't. Because we completely forgot about Raising yeah. Banners. But, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is why I don't. This is the problem. I don't play this very often. I mean, Max, but that's not too bad. Very we very can right. sort that out next turn. It's fine. I've we got still got a model back here that can do it, and one back there, and something. <clears throat> yeah. You know, we can work that out. Um, we can get it done. Can you cast psychic powers while you do? No, because once you, it's an action, it's an action. Yeah, you can't do anything else. I was just thinking otherwise. You, you can do. do you it. can do a psychic action and still charge. Yeah. You can do a psychic action and still shoot. Yeah, it just takes your you just, phase. You can't, yeah, do an action, you just can't do a normal action and do anything else. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the the scores on the doors. Thirteen each. Thirteen each. Thirteen each. Yes. Now it's the end of the turn. Now we do have a stratagem that could be played. Are you playing it, Ewan, or not? Uh, yeah. So I'm going to overrun. Overrun, which lets me move sixteen inches with my winged hive tyrant. So the winged hive tyrant is going to move sixteen inches. At the end of the move, at the end of the turn, the is it? End or? of the turn. So, so it's after, after the morale after phase, the after points have been scored. scored. That is absolutely insane. <clears throat> and he's running away by the looks of it, closer to the aggressors. So when they move forward and charge, they're going to have a better charge range. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what the White Scars players and Rich is saying. Come on, closer. He says closer. <laughs> Just to work out if we can actually do it. Move the sixteen. Let's move. Somewhere that's actually useful and not completely. Okay, well, he, he could deliver the three inch coherency a little bit closer. So, you know. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine there where he is. Yeah, opponent said it's all good. And that's the end of round one. We'll come back with the White Scars movement phase two. Okay, we're back. It's turn two. The White Scars have moved. Litneys, we've seen it again. So the chaplain only got one of the two Litneys off, but he did get his aura for re rock everything in combat. So it may help, it may not. So it's going to be a reroll everything in combat aura, but plus one to wounding aura didn't go off. The incestors have moved around here to try and take on this parasite. They saw what they did to the outriders. They're going to get revenge. The redemptors pushed up. The aggressors have pushed up yep. with the apothecary, which healed them at the end of the movement phase. Psychers coming around. The chapter master gave rerolls completely to this redemptor at the back, and had then gone. I'm going to take some action and push that himself. Redemptors like look. If I can do something, it's advanced forward really, really well and charge something and kill it. So that's what he's done. And then those incestors around the back here have just hit round onto that terrain feature there. That's it then. Psychic. Psychic. With so, all the denials around you. <laughs> yeah. try for that's the the Shadow of the Walk no longer stacks. That's correct, yeah. So that's a five. So that goes down to a four. At least, one. Yeah, at least so it wasn't a double. <laughs> so his... uh, Yeah, are you within 18 of that? Oh, yeah, easy. Yeah. yeah. So, no five or pin one again. I'll just smite. That does go off on a on an eight no. with a minus oh, one, yeah. yeah. He's going to try and deny it. It's the last bit. Nine. Oh, <laughs> that does stop the smite. The ridiculous, uh, what's it, the in the warp, what's it called? Shadow, the Shadow of, the warp. of the warp. Made a difference there. Silly psychers. Shouldn't be doing anything. With nids around you, <laughs> their yeah. brains are just too scrambled. Well, under the, in the last edition, it was minus one for every shadow of the warp. Yeah, that's um, pretty nasty. So you could end up with like minus six or seven. <laughs> Let's go straight into the shooting then. Bolt pistols. Five bolt pistols yeah. into the parasite hiding on that piece of terrain. Uh, toughness of the parasite. Uh, toughness five. Toughness five. Uh, hang on. We'll four. double check, so it's going to be fives to hit, fives to wound. The minus one to hit. Oh. Okay, well, we've only got a four there. So we're just checking the toughness of the parasite if it's four or five. I believe he's going to be four. It's only a strength four bolter, so four to wound, but we'll see he's in a, a moment. Five. He's toughness. He's toughness five. So there's no wounds. No wounds. Um, yeah, it should have been a minus one to hit. Uh, and a minus one to hit, but yeah. So one wound. No wounds. Uh, no wounds. No wounds. So he, minus one, yeah? 
No wounds. No wounds. No. Your toughness five. Strength oh. four bolters. Yeah. Oh, no. He did a wound. Yeah. No okay. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the chainsaws that's going to make a difference with that toughness five. It's going to be hard to punch through. You know? Yeah. We've got one CP left for the White Scars, and we'll see how that comes out in the rest of the game. Where would you like to go next, then, Rich? So I. Oh. This into your Trigon Prime. So we got the Redemptor, yeah. everything into the Trigon Prime. Yeah, it's one twelve. It's one ten wounds, so it doesn't get uh, the lookout, sir. Yeah. Uh, and are we overcharging the plasma? We're we oh, going to wait till after everything else is fired. We're going to overcharge the plasma. Uh, oh, one for shot. one shot oh, no. again! But it has hit it's strength nice. nine, three's to wound. That is a wound. AP four. Yeah, he's only seven. It's AP AP4. four weapon. Ooh, I don't think he's got anything on his own. So we're just going to check if he's got two up or a three up. He's got no basic invon. He's a he's HQ. Got a, he's got a three up. He's no, no invon. Oh my goodness. That is going to go straight through and do three damage. Now, I'm assuming he's got reduction in damage by one. Nope. No, so that is flat three down to nine wounds left on him. Uh, Has he got 12 wounds in total or something like he's that? He's got 12, 12, 14. 14, so he's got 11 wounds left. Uh, baby Gatler. The Baby Gatler, yeah. Eight shots. Hitting on threes. He's wounded on fives over the strength. Five toughness, seven. He's got one. So the AP one though, so he's going to be a four up. Oh, he takes another one. <laughs> For three, that's awesome. He did say he was toughness seven, so he's going to be threes and then fours. We got one more. Again, AP one though. No armor contempt here, so you take the AP. And he does. Oh, there he goes down. Another two. We've just got the uh, the Storm, Storm Bolters. Bolters now. He probably is within 12 for that extra four shots. We're just going to double Whoa. check. We're just checking now if he's within 12 for extra four shots. <laughs> yeah. He is. So let's get those extra four shots down the range. They make a difference. There's two more. Five's to wound again though here. Two wounds. Two. AP one. No arm contempt for the nids. He needs a four. He fails both of them. I'd like to point out, this Trigon oh. Prime has never, never made a save. <laughs> <laughs> in any game that well, he's you go. been in. After he's all not those made, fives he's not made a save. Yeah, yeah, zero, he's zero. not made a charge. He's not made a save. <laughs> What's that tell you about the model, though? And about your, your unit choice? Drop it and bring something else. Yeah, <laughs> I need to, the problem is I need to get something else. The okay, so the how many wounds has that Trigon got left? He's got six left. Six left. He's he just taken he eight left. wounds from one Redemptor. And that was one. rolling one on the exp uh, one on his plasma as well. It's not good. <laughs> so, yeah. this Redemptor. Redemptor. That Redemptor now, yeah. Flamer into the Zone Thropes. Yes. Stormbolter into the Zone Thropes. Yes. The Icarus is 24. 24, yeah. He's um, got the Chapter Master rerolls on him. He is going to be on four, though, with all his shooting weapons, part of the yeah. flamers. The Icarus and the Plasma Cannon into the Exocrine. Into the Exocrine. We're just checking, yeah. yeah. 24 inches, he's just yeah. in. Just on the face. Yeah, yeah, just. Okay. So, start with that Plasma Cannon. For two. Oh. He is re-rolling everything. He's got a CP, but I don't think he wants to spend it here, does he? Oh, he's tempted. He wants that. He wants no. that. He's yeah, green dead. Yeah. <gasps> Number of shots re-roll for one! Oh no! Oh no, Rich! What's going on? <laughs> and it fails to hit, but he has got chapter master re-rolls. It does hit. Three's the wound. It is a wound. wound. AP four. Toughness eight. It's, it's still three. Nice toughness three. And strength nine. Yeah. yeah. That's what the overcharge does. Gives it that strength it's nine. Two plus. So how much was it? AP four. So six. Yep. No, it takes the three damage on the exocrine. I don't yeah. know if that reduces Icarus. damage. I don't know if that's gone. Is that reduction in damage gone, has it? Essentially. Uh, yeah, it was, only, it was only Crusher Stampede. It was only so Crusher Stampede. Oh. Two shots. So three from that, so 12. With a reroll, everything from Chapter Master. No hits. No hits. Oh. Flamer. Flamer into the. Uh, three hits. Into the, the stupid brain five people. Five. Everything's five, yeah. I mean. Yeah, they're all fives now. Yeah, we, we, the average army was one four, wind. now it's all fives. Minus oh, just one. But it doesn't matter, it's four, four up in yours. No, oh, we take the wound from the Heavy Flamer. Then we've got the Storm Bolters. Eight shots into them. He's going to be fours re-rolling everything because that stupid minus one dense cover. Oh, okay. So we've got the wounded on fives now. Toughness five. 
Oh, we got two at AP1. Oh, is that a four? Is it oh, a four? It was yeah. a five. Sorry, just a one. One more four up save on the brain box in the middle. Nope. And he's failed it. All marks gone. It all went with the uh, invans. Yep, yeah, that's it. Now he's not making any of How them wins are until the Gribblies the come down. The four wins each. Yeah, when the Gribblies have to make theirs, it'll be all fine. It's just the big bugs that are struggling to make their armor saves. But, I don't think it would have been but we have now done two. Two of the, the Redemptors are now fired. Who's next? So we're going to do the Aggressors into the Zone Throats. The Aggressors now. And these that are, makes sense. There's a lot of shots. These are 2d6 Flamers per guy. So these are just the number of shots from the Flamers. <laughs> oh, a lot of shots. They're only strength four though. So these are going to be fives to wound. Five up to wound. I think this is a terrible roll. I still see quite a lot. A I think lot there's at least shots, 12 by the looks of it. Want to get 12 dice ready there, you in? I think that's what we're looking at. My quick eyed maths. It's a couple of fours. Three, six, not eleven. Eleven! Oh. Oh, my eyes were just wrong there by one. Eleven four up saves. Damage one a pop though. That's not good. It looks one, like we made two, three. three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, that's going to be at least two then, because one was on two wounds left. And you've just lost seven. So you're gonna lose one, two, and one's on three wounds. Oh. That's not too bad though. We were expecting to be unit to be like at least three or four gone there. And have the chapter master come in and just swipe them away. But the aggressors have still got some work to do. Look on the right side, I can't bring these ones back. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, the and they haven't got the swarm. Yeah. No. Captain's bolter. The captain's bolter <clears throat> into the same unit. Yeah. Hitting on two, so he's in range, yep. He's winning on fives. One wound at AP2 now. So it's uh, four pin bonds, it doesn't matter. Just the one. Oof. It was only one. Yep. Oh. Yep. Only one, let's try that again. Just one dice, four up. Now anyway. oh, he's fine, okay. The uh, Apothecary is Reductor. Yeah, this is a wounded on four weapon. It's a strength five weapon, this one. Oh, he doesn't hit yes. though! Oh, come on! <laughs> And it's a standard bolt um, pistol from yeah, the uh, librarian. librarian. Doesn't hit either. Ah, oh come on. So you have left now. Terrible. The Redemptor over here with the Gatlin. Yeah. You can see one bug because they're positioned in badly. You can see all the bugs. What through here? Oh, you mean the little bugs? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he bug. could yeah. target all the little bugs, but yeah. I don't think he wants to. Yeah. <laughs> He's got. Want to smash that kind of effects in the face? Yeah, I get that. Six wounds on the Carnifex left. Six wounds on the Tyragon? 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 Six on the Trigon. Trigon, there you go. I'll get my words out in a minute. I can't miss a lot of Twelve wounds is left it, on the... Is it uh, like the oars in Space Marines? It's, yeah. Uh, it's a lot of T's. A lot of T's. In, in uh, intercessors, in scepters. It's in, it's all in everything, it's all, isn't it? Yeah, it's all, Heavy it's intercessors. all turn, try and... <laughs> I'm going to... In my own. Oh, we've made decisions. Going to put everything into those bugs. <gasps> everything is going to go into the small bugs who are getting the benefit of cover because we don't ignore it. You are AP1 across the board, and your uh, armor save is? Uh, five plus. Five plus, so it's going to be five up saves. We know what five up saves are like. You know, do you want well, to do you, that? You might as well, <laughs> six plus. If yeah, you're in covers, you get five up. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not with all of them, but with, with yeah, majority with of them. With all well, one. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's questioning it because that five up on that first turn is really put doubt in his mind. So I'm going to put it all into the zone th uh, trigon. Into the trigon. trigon. Yeah. So, flamer. Uh, I'm not sure they would have survived this turn. The, have, the luck of the involve is gone. No uh, wounds no there. Wounds. From, oh, yeah. No, because the trigon's toughness seven is near or six or something like that. Uh, seven. Seven, so he's a. Stormbolters. Threes to hit. He's in middle brackets. These are fours, fours. to hit. Oh, no. It's not what we wanted to see. Five's the wound. Nothing no. from the storm bolters. Oh, Icarus rocket pod. It doesn't that have doesn't one. one. That this is just really the main hard. Gatlin now. Hitting on. Oh, that was a better roll. There we go. That's how Marines are supposed to hit. But he's tough as seven. So fives. Two. 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 AP one though on the Trigon. He's got a three up save down to a four. Yeah, I don't think it changes. No, it doesn't change. Four up save on the Trigon. Oh, he doesn't die, make yeah. it again. Trigon cannot make a save to save his life. Obviously, he's dying. <laughs> he's he's, he's down to four. He's but that is, I think, all the shooting. 
It's yeah. too late, he's decided he wants We've to got a couple home. of bolt pistols that we could put into combat if we wanted to, just to throw some dice so, down. Two bolt pistols into the warriors. Into the warriors. We've got one hit. We got a wound at AP zero now because there's no AP to these. Four plus. They can't, oh, make it either. they can't make up a four AP either. <laughs> oh my goodness. Four ups are just eluding everybody. If we said five up, you would probably would have made it. And then we got the bolt pistol from the resolver bolt pistol. Misses. He misses. Oh, okay. So one down. To two. That is every single shot I believe on the table that could have fired. Yeah. yeah. We have the magical part of. The white scars, which is the, the charge charges. phase. Okay, intercessors into yeah. down there into the, the uh, parasite. I would overwatch you, but he has no overwatch. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, that's a nine inch charge. I think that parasite's going to be swarmed. Take a revenge for those mortal wounds as he flew across, dropping well, those spore mines. Taking the uh, fights first, trailer. <laughs> yeah, uh, then we've got, I think the eradicators are going to make a move here as well. Yeah, into the zone throats and the trigon. Into the zone throat and Ooh. the trigon. He make it. He makes it, it with a ten. I'll sort these out in a moment. Yeah. Uh, chapter master into the just the zone throats. Yeah. If they, if they can yeah. fail there, he's only one inch. Five right? inch. He wants the movement though. The oh, redemptor. Redemptor into the carn effects. Into the carn effects. We're going to see some big. Oh my one. goodness! Oh my goodness! He spent his CP already oh. as well. <laughs> That's not getting in. That's not getting in. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is not looking good there, Rich. No, no, that is terrible. And uh, we could see, we could see another charge somewhere. We still have the apothecary. We still have the, the, librarian. the librarian. Can they get in though once everything's moved? Well, he can do that. Well, he so can, I've got a 10 inch with got the... got 10 inch there. Yeah, yeah so I'll put true. both of them into the zone tropes. Both apothecary. into the zone tropes. Six yeah, yeah. is in. And librarian. Librarian is a yeah, seven, so they're in. Good. Okay, that's pretty damn good. Um, it just gives him the movement on the board that he's probably looking for. And we'll come back once everybody's moved in. We've just come back. We've had all the aggressors moved in. The assault intercessors have moved in. Rich, where are we starting first? Assault intercessors. Yeah, assault into intercessors that. into these... Little gribbly down there, the parasite, because we know it's pretty deadly in combat. We had a quick look at the stats, so he's hoping just to wipe it out before it poisons anybody again. So it's four zones. It gives him any parasites. It's minus one to hit. Uh, it's minus one to hit. And it's toughness hit. five. And it's toughness five. So, so it's going to be four to hit, five to wound. Oh, oh that's atrocious. below average. I don't know what that was. Okay, so it's a good roll though there to convert that for that not knowing what it was. <laughs> Straight into a six. <laughs> <laughs> and then five. Five's the win though. I see one. Oh, that's a great roll for the conversion for the wounds there. Yeah, that's five wounds. Has he got six wounds in total? He's got six wounds in total. So that's not going to kill Minus him. one, yeah. The so five plus. He can make one. He makes one, but that's going to be two wounds two left. Wounds. And now he wishes that he's in round three because that round three, he'd be two and two damage. He's going to be smashing those monsters in a minute when he gets to round three, I'll tell you that. Let's just so, hope he can hold out long enough to get to it. 2CP on the interrupt with the Trigon. He's going to interrupt the Trigon. Can the Trigon redeem itself? So this is the Trigon in the middle against the uh, aggressors. Hopefully going to try and take one down before they swing back at him. Yep. He gets how many attacks? 12 attacks. 12 attacks. That's just he's astonishing. Only, he's he only hitting on fours though at the moment. He just dropped down a bracket. He's dropped a bracket. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, no, he's not <clears> any other things at the moment. So he's hitting on fours. His strength... He's strength seven. Ooh, so he's going to be wounded sense. on threes. He's done himself somewhat, pal. There's still quite a lot of drops there that we're taking out. Okay, it's not bad. That's at least half. So strength seven against stuff as four. Five. 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 So three's the wound. Oh, he's dropped three. At least at four, four wounds. And then that is at minus three. <gasps> so minus five. two. Yep. So five. Five up saves. Now there's a five. But we failed three at least. Yeah, it's two damage each. No! So, yeah, six. first one. <laughs> so we're looking for the pain, feel no pains now. One. That is one dead because the three yeah, wounds are popped. And the third one takes two as well. Two, so, okay. hang on. Yeah, that's right. So the first yeah. one dies and the second one takes two because you and only did three through. And I get a single attack with the toxin swine. We did get one. I think that's what he was aiming for, just to kill one. So he has actually been able to kill an aggressor. Yep. Yeah, he needs to kill two though, otherwise that apothecary is just going to bring one back. 
They don't even hit. He doesn't even hit. It is going to be his turn, so he is going to have the effectiveness to be able to try and kill two, so he isn't going to be bombarded with a full unit, but... Well, if he survives. If he survives, <laughs> yeah. If he survives. He, he, the aggressors then. I'm assuming they're going to fight next. Yeah. He has dropped one, though, so that's going to be a pain. So only now yeah. a four-man unit. Three attack base, more, or something ridiculous like that. All, all four of them tried on? Yeah, because they charged it, I'm assuming. They, well, they, they charged both. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got something to hopefully deal with this. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're chapter maps, they should be able to do that, yeah. he says. These are going to be hitting on fours with the minus one. Uh, yeah, it is a minus one for hitting because he's a trigon. Uh, and I don't. Oh, you so get reroll ones, re ones, yeah. Ones. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's just the minus one anyway because they're powerful or something. Yes. No. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. It's a good conversion. Two converts there. These are strength uh, eight against his toughness seven. Freeze. Oh, not a bad roll again there. Well done. Eight so that is three. Yeah, three, two damage each. Seven, three up saves. Uh, seven, six up saves. No invon. Uh, armor save three here. He needs to make all of them. <laughs> and he doesn't. He does, Does the Trigon explode? He's got that death frenzy explosion rubbish. No, nope. you know he doesn't. Oh, okay, no worries. We go straight on to then the chapter master of all the library and all the apothecary, but we'll find out which one we're going with then. So the chapter master because chapter of master. Imperium sword and everything gets seven plus D three attacks. Seven plus D three. So eight, eight attacks. And these are going on to the brain bugs in the middle. Yeah. Hitting on twos. So they all hit all of them. And he has. Um, is he plus two? He gets Imperium Sword, give him plus one strength. The Burning Blade gives him plus strength, so it'll be threes by the time he's finished with it. Um, so that is six saves. Yeah, I believe it gets him up to strength 8 or strength 9, but it doesn't get him up to strength 10, so it would be 3 to wound. Now, the Burning Blade, I believe, is AP Minus 4 five. or AP it's, 5. It's, it's no, it's going to be a 4 pin bond, but we're looking for the 4 pin bonds. He failed 3. We're just looking at the damage. Do you want to CP one of these? He's got I'll find 3 out models. How much damage there is first. But he's still got 2 models still to fight them, the thing is. So he's still got another you know, 8 attacks coming in. Yeah. And One's a 4 sword. So. Yeah. It should be three damage, I think, the, the yeah, Burning three. Blade is. We're just flicking through the book now. Yeah, Rich is going really, really fast. Chippity chop chop. Time's going down, it's like a countdown clock. Worst organised book in the world. Yeah. Minus five, two damage each. Two damage, two oh, because they're four damn four wounds a pop. So that'll be... So you've got three wounds so through, so you've got six to take. Two on two. One guy on two. So we've got, so I have well, so I've got three here. Oh yes, because he takes two and dies, and then another guy is on two. Uh, how much damage do your other guys do? One damage pop. Oh, I saw, oh, oh CP reroll one of those. Oh, we're control. going to use a CP reroll. We're changing it. We're looking for a four with the CP reroll, and yeah. we get it. Oh, we just lose one to the chapter master. Oh. Chapter Master only right. four of pin bonds kicking butt there. Try Chapter to... Master just slaughtered one, so we've got the, the apothecary or uh, who's... librarian. Librarian, these are going to be damaged too, I believe, with the four sword. Is he, uh... Was it a force axe or a force weapon? Uh, Whatever it's got, four sword, yeah. It's going to be two wounds, so that's two four up saves. No, nope. Feldon Bow. D3. Are they D3 a piece, yeah, are yeah, they? Four swords. So the yeah. first one. Oh, no, it won't matter. Yep, kills one. Kills one. Uh, two damage, two damage, yeah. we still got one left with the Apothecary. <laughs> yeah. Make you come over the wall. Apothecary's going to have to come across the wall. So well, that's you he's going to he's gonna do his consolidation when he finishes yeah. his attacks. He's going to do that. Yeah. Do that. Okay, then. Here we go, then. Can I survive to count um, that as my... Now, he is a Primaris, so he's got three attacks on his... Four attacks on his profile, so he'll have five attacks because he charged... He's going to be hitting on threes. Oh. Then he's going to be winning on fives. We got one. He's going to survive. <laughs> he no, does. He doesn't even take it. Oh, no way. One zone through holding the objective oh, as obsec. He's obsec as well. That's going to be massive. Uh, well, Absolutely I'll, I'll huge. Start, I'll start with him because he's just. Uh, I, I wouldn't start with him. I'm going combat. 
Well, it, yeah, he's obsec. Oh yeah, no, sorry. There's on, there's other ongoings, isn't there? I forgot about the other ongoings. How bad is that? Yeah. What was he, were you thinking, Rich? How was he obsec? Because he was able to point to a unit and give it to him. Yeah, he can make one call you. So he's his, his guy. He, what's the range on it? It's well, a it's chapter master sort of thing. So yeah, chapter master points distance. It, it yeah, holds, that was last turn. It holds on to them. Last turn. It's synaptic link and it holds on to them. So they keep until the start of the next command phase. Yeah. So it, all it's going to stop is it's going <laughs> to. Oh God. God. All it means is I get the points and then. It I stops you away. from getting stranglehold. Uh, you, no, it doesn't stop you from getting stranglehold. Well, but you might you might not. Be obsec on that yeah. anymore, but it stops you from holding that. Because so I can, yeah. I can turn your obsec yeah. off. So it, basically, the the obsec rule is similar to the chapter master. He points at it, that unit then holds it until the next command <clears> phase. <throat> yeah, yeah, right. So yeah, it's a similar sort of ability. So, and then there's the you can make monsters obsec as well. Yeah, so, yeah. that's part of the chapter tactic. That's, that's my that's my hyper adaptation. Yeah, right. He just gets to make one other cool unit. Uh, so warriors into the bikes. I'll go warriors four, into four the bikes. Talents first. Okay, threes. <laughs> Nothing there. They still oh get the gosh. reroll ones, or is the, that an aura? The, um, was that a point and click still no, from that's last point, turn? That's a point and click. So, they so they're still rerolling ones. They're yeah. hitting on threes, uh, and they're wounding on, on three fours. Fours for him. So that's one AP. Uh, AP minus one for this one. Minus one, so they ignore it, so they're fine. And then you've got the Simon, not Simon right, Talons. The other one. The other one. Uh, the Rending Claws, which is three attacks. Three attacks from the Rending Claws. These are the better ones, remember. So rerolling the ones. He needs those reroll ones. I really do, they're not doing very well. Uh, it's 26 of threes. That's all of three them. wounds. These are AP, AP four, four, down to AP three. So he needs sixes. He needs to make three of them. Oh, three. Yeah, yeah three sixes. Nope. 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 Two damage pop, are they? One damage. One damage. damage. So he kills an outrider. Not another one. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Silly warriors. Yeah. And then we've got the ongoing combat. So who's uh, going to fight thanks back? For, thanks for letting the, uh, the termagants go. Hmm? Thanks for letting the termagants go. But they can't activate now. I know, but that's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but they can actually move them. <laughs> don't oh, that's true. Back. That's true. Yeah, but he could still... I, I'd already put the wounds on the guy. I, I yeah, didn't I have an option. So we've got know. the <laughs> chaplain oh, fighting back yeah. there. Yeah. With these so, uh, five attacks, hitting on twos. He is re-rolling everything, because yeah, because he's got the aura. And then he's wounding on twos. He's killing on twos, actually, yeah, now, yeah. Three so dead. three dead now, because there's no invon. So that's what happens when you have no invon and, and a space marine chaplain swings in, just murders them. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll have those griblies fight back. That's going to be all of them now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine Griblies fighting back against the Chaplain. Yeah. Hopefully they don't take off another wound. Yeah, <laughs> these are hitting on three, fours, five. wounding on five, so. They're not really rolling ones, these guys. No, they're not. They didn't get any abilities off at all. They're just fours and fives. We're going to have two. two, though. Two three-up saves. Oh, oh no! <laughs> what is going on, Chaplain? Oh, what is going on? Another oh, wound done to him, and then the intercessors are last to fight uh, against. Sorry, the, the parasite yeah. against the intercessors down here. Um, yeah, does the outrider not even? Outrider. Yeah, the oh, outrider. My zone, my zone oh, yeah. get to scratch at you. He gets to reroll everything because the the, apoth uh, the chaplain. He hits everything. He's now. I'm assuming he's going after the warriors, which are toughness yeah. five. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a five to wound at AP one. Only on fours. Oh, it looks like he might kill another one. Yeah. And he does, he gets another one down. We're evenly swinging there, Outriders versus Warriors. It's one for one at the moment. I mean, they're kind of the same profile, really. Well, the Outriders should do better. they got more attacks, more wounds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you should do better. And especially round three with the damage too. They should be eating through everything. So... Who are we going with then? The Zoanthrope, because it doesn't matter. What yep, it doesn't, go, doesn't matter yeah. now yet. The Zoanthrope is going to attempt to scrabble at the Apothecary. At the Apothecary. At the Apothecary. Ooh. Cheeky. I'd have um, gone with the, the Aggressor. We need two wounds left. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but he's crap at combat anyway. Oh, okay, okay. Here uh, we go then. It, what am I talking two, about? Two attacks and hitting on fives. <laughs> two attacks hitting on fives. Uh, no. no. Okay. Okay. The well, Parasite is next. The Parasite, who is significantly better at this. So we're told... We're going to see all so, ones now, aren't we, Rich? We're six, going to see all ones. Yep. You've made all your fives six, up. You in six attacks, two plus. 
Two's to hit. Two's to hit. So a one, one, one. And anything special about him? Uh, not on this attack. He is strength five against the toughest four. Ooh. Three's to wound. Three's. There oh, we go. It's only two. AP. AP is minus two. Minus so two. Minus one. Minus yeah. one. So two, two four ups. He Next failed one. one. Damage. So, now this is the important one. This is the important bit. Why? What's the damage of the first one? So the damage of the first one is only one. One, oh, okay. But this is the one that turns off OPSEC. Oh, so, what? So Barb Oviopter, yeah. you get to make one attack and no more than one attack. You still hold it. Because <laughs> you'll have more models than you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if I successfully wound, not get through the armor save, just make the wound roll, um, you are infected. Again, another infection. But he rolls a one. He rolls a I've one. Already CP'd it. I've already CP'd the save yeah, earlier. He's already CP'd the save earlier, so oh. that's him done then. That was all that briefing, <clears throat> all that build up to to infecting another intercessor, oh. and it was a failure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, that's it then. That's everybody fought. That's everybody done all their bits and pieces. There's no morale checks or leaderships because the Gribblies are all fearless. We've seen a a. a Turbogon gone. We've seen the, the brain bugs in the middle being slaughtered, but not quite enough. That does take stranglehold for the uh, the, the white scars holding the three objectives one, yeah. two, and then three at the back. That gets some stranglehold. Um, assassination is the Trigon was a HQ yeah. choice. Yeah. So it's three points for assassination. Yeah, yeah. We're starting to tack up those secondaries. And what was the other one? Grind them down. So I've got to wait. Oh, yes. Grind them down. How many units? We've got one unit so far. Yep. Trigon. The Trigon, yeah. I mean, that doesn't say that's not going to go down, because unless he falls back, there's a good <clears> chance <throat> that that unit is going to get squished. I mean, he's not going to stay. Yeah. Uh, are we going to wrap with the uh, aggressors, or are we going to leave them there? Uh, he can so... fly, it doesn't matter. No, it's not that. It's it's up to his movement. Uh, You're happy to be there closer. There were still people there. Yeah. No, it was the, the Trigon was there. They were in front by where your, where your moves yeah, have so moved to. So I you could have could... gone yes. there. Yeah. There. Yeah. And there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay then. So that's the end of the white scars uh, turn one. We're going to see one death at the moment for their tally. So we're going to see you in then take the revenge, hopefully, on those brain bugs in the middle, and we'll come back after the Tyranids have done their movement phase two. Okay, we're back after turn two. Uh, there's been a hell of a lot of movement from the uh, the Griblies and it's they've tried to do as much as possible. Command phase stuff we had put on. Uh, Obsec onto the zone zero trope, trope, which gave him um, the objective in the middle, giving him uh, eight points for in the command phase for holding objectives. He then fell in back in the movement phase. We gave reroll everything onto the Carnifex, plus one to hit, plus one to wound uh, from the uh, commanders, from the being able to pass, yeah, pass roll through. Hits, root roll ones to wound and plus one to hit. Okay. Um, and then uh, we gave plus one to. Uh, plus one strength. To plus the, one to strength here. Uh, you also have um, the reroll ones to hit. Okay, and then that psychic phase. So psychic phase. We're going to oh, start. You've met, you've left a gribbly behind. Oh. I know he's being babysitted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll start with paroxysm from the high paroxysm, paroxysm into the aggressors, stopping those yeah. flame overwatch. It needs a seven. Oh, it's no. a double one. I've got one CP left. Oh, he's going to use the last CP. He's fine. It goes, off, it goes right. off. Are you going to try and deny it? Nope. Fair enough. So that's no overwatch for the aggressors. Moving on. Uh, he is then going to smite. Smite straight in front of him, yeah. So that's a five. Oh, that no, doesn't go happens. off. So um, he's saving that deny. You deny twice, is that correct? Yeah. 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 Uh, Swarm Lord is going to smite. Smite into the Outrider. That go does off. go off. With, uh, with he goes. Is he doing the three d six or is it this guy? No, it's the newer threat. Newer threat. It's going to be an eight then. Yep. It is denied. denied. No smite. Psychic scream. Doesn't, that go, doesn't off. go off. And the CP's already been used. Oh. Uh, and then catalyst from the neurothrope who's getting 3d6 3d6 on the catalyst and he's going off on the uh swarm oh, on the high, on the high type, type. Over there. flying high type uh that goes off with an uh, eight, with an eight because right. he doesn't want to pay as well use one of the deny might as well for the other deny oh, oh, oh. it doesn't deny but close but no yeah. cigar 
We've had it with a nine anyway. Um, uh, so I can conclude with the plus one to deny. And then... Is that within 12 though, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I think it's within right, 12. It will, I've got a plus one and we've got to count it because it was a six and a two. Okay. So it actually been a nine anyway. Would have been a nine against Psychic Hood, nine. Okay. And then, but yeah, Psychic Hood's plus one sim- within 12. Yeah, and Symbio Storm. So Symbio Storm is the... Is the one that lets, gives me plus one strength to... Two, oh, yeah, that's going off onto those, yeah. Those guys yeah. over there. Yeah, that goes yeah. off, yeah. yeah. Okay, and the parasite we forgot to say fell back Sorry. out from the intercessors back over here. And we've seen a lictor coming from reserve all the way over in the corner there, and he's going to try and kill. He just lifted that terrain piece. <gasps> Good charge. The intercessors sat on that baby objective yeah. back there. And okay. The last psychic power because we haven't done this zone throat. The zone throat who he's fell back gonna, who can't. He's going to. He can't, he fell back. Yep. He can't. Oh, you can't psychic, you can't psychic can't power if he fell back. Oh, yeah. Well. So yeah, he's now stuck there doing nothing with yeah, Obsec. <laughs> Still better than doing that. Um, I should have done race banners with them actually. They can't, there's an in- incest unit oh, on there and they advanced to get on it. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, the um, guy that back's doing. Okay, let's do some shooting then. Wonderful. Right, yeah, it's, not as, it's not as devastating as I thought the psychic phase would be. Uh, yeah, maybe it it's helps just... when you don't get any of your smites off. It, it, yeah, it does help, yeah. Um, so you didn't take any, did you? Any no, mortal wounds? You didn't take a single mortal wound. Single Denied mortal wound. The only one that What's it? that one you could build for 32 mortal wounds then? <laughs> the, that's the Malaceptor. Oh. It only works if you take Leviathan and stick two different um, synapse comparatives on it in one go. Okay, okay. Just, <laughs> um, so the x Queen is going to attempt to shoot the Dreadnought. The x Queen into the Dreadnought. So this is D6 plus. One, so it's seven. It's seven shots again. Three, six, seven. We're hitting on threes still. Hitting on threes into the dreadnought. Nice, only dropped two. And then oh, we've got to say this guy's raising a banner, isn't it? Yeah. This this uh, prime. He is a prime, isn't he? He is a prime. Prime, yeah. So this is strength eight. I'm assuming strength eight. So it's threes. Threes to wound. Okay, we've got two more. AP. So it's AP minus four. Down to three, so six is. Six is. Oh, nope. Didn't make nope. any damage. Damage is three each. Three down to two, so six damage. Does he blow up? He's got left. Oh, oh, he doesn't blow up. He could have been lovely to take down uh, that Carn effects with I'm, him. I'm very glad that he didn't, though. Okay, so next shooting then. Carn effects into the aggressors. Because... Carn effects straight across into the aggressors. Um, Actually, I can see the librarian. But he's uh, he's being protected. He bodyguard. Not bodyguard. Oh, yeah, he's absolutely been. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah he's with him. So, it's not bodyguarded. It's uh, look out, sir. <laughs> so, I know D3, what I'm talking about, honestly. D3 plus 3 for the strength of Oh, so nice. Six. six shots. Straight into the aggressors. Yeah. Fours. Because he's not that good at shooting. Oh, he's okay at shooting, though. Yeah, yeah. Four hits. And then threes because he's strength eight. Oh, well, just as well. Four. Four AP. AP minus. Two. two down to one. So fours. Oh, he makes two firstly. It's damage so two each. Each. Okay, you got so a guy on two wounds. First guy. He's dead. dead. Oh, a guy's oh. taken one. The apothecary keeps guy alive, but there's one on two wounds. Oh, we lost another aggressor though. And we've uh, still got more shooting from the Carn effects. Yeah, he would have been within six. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got the spine banks. He would have been within four. Six inches is the spine banks. Yeah, it's calculated. It should yeah, it's calculated all at once. Yeah, you took the guy off, didn't you? Yeah. So he's hitting on fours, then wounding on fours, fours, strength five, toughness five, two wounds, AP. Uh, AP with nothing. Ah, I don't matter with the matter. two fives. Whoop, whoop. Okay. okay. Next set of shooting, and the only thing I think I've got left is that bunch of. <laughs> <laughs> Just that he needed it. So that's. The one's there. Okay. So you've got six hits so far with how many re-rolls? With four re-rolls. Four of them. Let's convert at least one. Oh, oh he got, got three! Oh, it's oh, nine hits. He's wounded on threes at strength six. Oh, here we go. He's dropped three. Yep, yeah, so six. Six wounds, AP six minus three up saves because he nothing. doesn't care about the AP. He takes one. Oh. The Outrider survives. That's not what he wanted to do. He no. wanted so the Swarm Lord could come round and take on the Chaplain. No, he's not going to be able to do That's that. That's what happens turn. when you don't get your smites Oh, off. it's going to be tough. It's going to be difficult. Charging been... them. So, charging. The Swarm Lord's going to have to go into the biker. Yes. Yep. 
He's in. <laughs> There's no overwatch from the aggressors. Yeah. So, so he's just going to go and tag the aggressors, yep. The Might as well make the a move with the Khan effect. The yeah. effect is going to attempt to charge the intercessors over here. Well, oh, that's a big or, charge. That I don't even think he's even range to lift up that terrain. Oh, he's right, right on the edge. edge. Oh, we didn't know that. So, or actually, I've got to go. I've got to kill characters. Actually, thinking about it, so maybe I should go to the librarian. Okay, we're going to try and make that charge to the librarian with the Khan effect. It looks like it's going to be a seven. It's going to be an eight. It's going to be seven. Your touch is base. Seven. You'll be with an inch. So a seven inch charge then. He's eight, just under eight inches away. That is he enough to it. get in. So the Khan effect is just going to pile into that librarian. Okay, and then that and then the is lit, it. The, the lictor at the, the back. The lictor at the back with his nine inch charge. Nine inches away from the intercessors. It? He yes. can with a ten. Yes. Oh, that lictor then is just going to pile right onto the top of those intercessors over there with the, the bold head that I just caught. Sorry about that. And there's the lictor into the intercessors over there. And then there's, nobody has any CP left. No, we're all out of CP, so there's no interrupts anywhere. It's just pick a unit, roll the dice until that unit's dead, and then we move on. Well, we'll go through in the order of the book, because that's easier. Okay. Oh, we've got some heroic intervention, so... Oh, Chapter Master is heroically intervened, leaving the apothecary out just to help make everybody survive a little bit longer. Yeah. Okay. So we'll start with the winged hive tyrant, because he's first in the book. The winged hive tyrant. Into the aggressors. Into the aggressors. So we, he's not taking any damage, he's still on twos, re-rolling all ones. Twos, re-rolling ones. Re-roll on the one. That's not a lot of attacks, is it really, for an he gets HQ? two extra attacks, then. So that's all of them. Um, so his strength re-roll ones is... Is a, is a warlord trait. It's not Lash Whip. It's Lash Whip, whip yeah. Or, or straight, Relic. Straight walk in, yeah. 10, toughness 5, so yeah. twos again. Twos the wounds. Mortal wounds on the wounds. Uh, Just every every wound. Every wound. Oh so my five goodness. 5 mortal wounds plus then so 5, five mortal wounds. Minus 4. The Apothecary saves 2, so we'll add the 3 at the end, right at the last and minute. Then 5 saves, was it? And then 5 AP. 5 AP minus 4. So these are 3s. 6s. He makes 1, so that's... Four go through damage on that each. He's three. <gasps> okay, uh, first one. Yeah, it's three. First one's dead. Second one survives. Uh, they'll be dead to the mortal no, wounds. No, that's two. So two dead, and then the mortal wounds did three. Oh, it's just enough. If he'd have made one more of his mortal saves, mortal wound saves, he would have had an aggressor left. With that feel no pain there from the apothecary. Oh, you'd have to make one more, and you would have survived. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I also do have two scything talents. Yeah, there's, uh, there's more attacks to come in, but beside the yeah. point. <laughs> so, Swarm Lord's next in the book. There's Swarm Lord down here with the Outrider. Nine attacks. What? These were supposed to be going into the chaplain. Chaplain, but we just couldn't clear him couldn't. away. He was, just, he was just so psychically eager to get in there and do combat. <laughs> he forgot to put the Mind Worm in the head. <laughs> the twos. <laughs> so... He's strength nine. Strength nine on the That's Outrider. Threes. That's going to be five That's wounds. Five. He is still AP minus four though. Oh. Sixes. He nah, saved nah, one, but not enough to keep the attack tap bite going. Uh, That's charged in. Lictor, because the Lictor's the next one in the book. Oh, Lictor next. Licking away at the five man intercessor unit on that backfield objective. Yep. He gets six attacks. Always oh, got enough. What's the damage of Elictor? He is damage two. Oh, oh that's two. scary. He is a marine killer. He is kicking marines down with that damage two. Yep, he doesn't get anything particularly interesting. Oh, so it's he's just the luck plus, of the dice. So he's two plus. Luck of the dice. Two's to hit. Oh, he's dropped one. All the ones. Oh, he's dropped one. <laughs> I'm strength seven. So threes to wound. He's dropped two, so that's it. They're going to survive. They're going to survive. That's the main thing. AP. Uh, AP minus three. So down to AP two. So these are five ups. He makes one. That's two, two Marines dead. Oh, he's like, phew. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to take them out of combat. Yeah. Oh. So the assault incessors oh. are out of combat. But he does get three inch consolidation yeah. and piling. So he can just tag you again. Are you consolidating into me? He's going to but that makes a decision for him. <laughs> so the Carnifex is the last model that's charged at we'll City try, Carnifex. We'll try for the Chapter Master. Oh, this might be a terrible oh, idea. Oh, Chapter Master's we'll going down. Him. So threes. 
Hitting on threes. He gets re rolls on everything though. Yep. Yeah, and with he's the... also plus one to hit, so yeah. he's actually on twos. Okay, twos to hit then with a the re roll. He hits all the time. He's strength. He's strength six. Okay, he's that's not six. a lot though. Strength six no, though, is he it? He's plus one to. He's. Oh no, sorry, he's not plus one to. He's re rolling ones. ones to yeah. So threes, re rolling ones. He needed that one. Oh, 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 it's all of them. What's the damage? Oh no! Oh, he's minus three, so it's going to go. Four of pin bonds, but yeah. he's failed yeah. three. What's the damage? Damage is three. No! He's no, he's got the apothecary. Oh, You've yeah. got the apothecary. Yeah, got this is why you brought him. <laughs> Not a no. single one. Ah! Oh, oh, failed. Should have put oh. Scythe into the. Uh, wait, to like, be honest though, I was, thinking, I, I was oh, not okay. expecting him to die oh. whatsoever. Maybe one, but not three to go through. It's dice. Oh. I can actually get around you and just tag that with a So if you it. based me, you can't move now. I didn't can't base you. From yeah. But that, that's fine, but you're still going to hold it. I didn't base it. you though. Yeah. He he's not upset. Oh, he is upset. I am upset, he's upset with the, Yeah. He can't do that. Yeah. So I wasn't based. Because you you can't base I, him through I the know, wall. I know about this though as well. It's like, I don't want to base. It's the one movement yeah. thing that I'm actually good at. Right. Yep. Um, so you get to fight back now with everything. You can go with the chapl chaplain and then just go straight back onto the, the chaplain first. Yeah. You have got the, the apothecary fight fighting back there as well because he yeah. has put you in engagement range. There was no chance for you to be able to get on there without yeah. going in engagement no, range. Chaplain. chaplain hitting on twos, rerolling everything still. Twos to kill because there's no armor safe. But here. Yeah. That's four dead and, and a mortal wound. wound five, five dead. Five. That's what we like to see. There's no five of him on here. The Gribblies are just falling. Okay, so we got the apothecary then and the uh, librarian. Right. So librarian. I'll, do my, I'll do my four with my. Yep. My lot. And they're doing fours. Mm. Yeah, fours and then fives. And fives. Nothing. Go on, one. fail it, fail it. No, oh. see, that's how you make a four up. Chaplin knows how to do it. Yeah. Uh, librarian. Hitting on threes, yeah. Fives to wound. That's one. one. At AP three. Or AP two or something like that. AP three. AP three. So six up then. Or five up, two up, saving me. Yep. He takes it. It's D3 damage. For three. three. Oh, he's down to three. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 this is where the two damage needs to be in play. The apothecary has a chance then, but we just haven't got to round three yet. Oh, it's like the White Scars just jumped that lid a bit too early because all the big monsters would have died. All the warriors would have died. We got three hits. We got one oh, wound. Oh, AP one with the chainsword. Or whatever he's got. Threes. Oh, he takes the wound. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, that would have been him dead because he the, 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 if he was in round three. Because the librarian would have been the extra damage, the apothecary would have got the extra damage that would have taken down the carn effects. Yeah. Oh. Here's the problem though. I have no CP to move him back out of danger. No, that's true. And he does have two redemptors that could make the charge on him. You know, potentially, possibly. He's got the librarian that could smite the warrior off him. You know, and he's going to be able to heal any damage that's caused from anybody else. Yep. Okay, we're going to be back with the white scars. Oh, the white scars get to attack. We've got the intercessors the on that silly li uh, lictor over there. Let's not forget about damage output. We can still do. Mine will hit, so four to hit then. Toughness on him five, I'm toughness assuming. On him, he's five. Oh my goodness, why is everything toughness five nowadays? We've got three wounds though. It is AP one. So it's going to be fives. He That's does take all three. Has he got three wounds? Tell me he's got three wounds. Uh, he's got five. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> we got five. He got bolt pistols. We can shoot him to death. That's what we're going to do. We'll come back with the white scars after their movement. Three. It's round three. It's white scars. It's their favourite part of the game because everything doubles in damage if you're an intercessor or, or just adds one to everybody else's damage but output. So we've got the movement phase done. The chaplain decided while he's in combat, the best opportunity for everybody else now, while there's no one else around him, is to get off all his litanies. So the intercessors have to make a bolt in charge out of the building just to benefit from it, which is the plus one to wound in combat and reroll everything in combat. He got them both off. 
Well, well, well done. Why is our turn coming into practice? We've got both Redemptors moving up in the middle. They've come to dominate. They're like, no one else is taking this objective. Can't care less. If you've got objective to score, we're just going to kill you. That's their plan. They're just going to blow over you to bit and charge. And then hopefully the Apothecary will stick around and go, I'm going to bring this Dead Eradicator back or Aggressor once the game's over. Let's hopefully we'll do some killing. Uh, we've got the Intercessors moved out of this building. It's sticky objectives. They can leave it. And they're going to go and kill the Gribblies over there. And then I'm assuming you've let stayed in combat over there with the yep. Lictor. Pistols first. Pistols first. He's got, he took three wounds in combat. He's only got two wounds left. Yep. So pistols should be able to do enough. Yeah, do a single face first though. Of course. So we're going to smite, so that can't affect no one up there. No, with a three. Not, not okay. a two. And we're going to try, because I don't have anything with an Invon now. Yep. I'm going to try Null Zone. Yeah. That goes off. So that's, oh, that's a nine. That is a nine, yep. It's not a double. Oh, oh what? Where are these fives coming oh. from? Because that would have been huge to take that disgusting. in one away. I'm sad that it hasn't been done. Oh, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Okay, here we go then. Let's do some shooting then. <laughs> Three pistols into the left. <laughs> Is he Two. minus one to? He's minus one to hit all the time. All the time. Nice. Two wounds. Two wounds. AP two, two. now. Oh, well he's only got a six plus then. Oh no, he's got a five plus in Oh, he survives on a wound left. Ah! <laughs> Frustrating. We know. Take him over. We're gonna have to kill him in combat. We're gonna but have he gets to, to kill fight him first. He does get to fight first well, with three marines. It's back and forth. He, yeah, yeah. We've. But yeah, there's a good chance that he'll choose him first. Yeah. I would, anyway. Well, <laughs> You're going to kill the card effects. You've got two, well, two so primaries. I'm, I fight in your in the charging section. So if you charge... No, no, no. Then... When we're already in combat, it's no, no, one he's, for he's one. He's got one. fight first. Right. Your Lictor has fight first. Yeah, Lictor's have fight first. Right. Oh, okay. There okay, that go. makes more sense now. Okay. So we've got five bolt pistols uh, down here. It would have been better it would have been... to fall them back yeah. and then shoot and then charge in. Right. Yeah. And that's... Yeah, I, I, we didn't know that. Right. Okay. Um, did didn't you... know it. It's done. Okay. Um, we know that for the future then. We do know it for the future. Sorry, I should have mentioned it. Okay. We are going to pistols. So the bolt pistols yeah. first. Into the gribblies in into front the of the gribblies, plasma pistol into him. So into the gribblies. Oh no. <laughs> At least it wasn't a plasma pistol. No gribbly yeah. wounded, because they're uh, tough as three. Pistol. Not overcharging, no, I'm assuming. I'm not going to try and kill myself. Well, nothing. that's a good then. Nothing there, then. And then it's the uh, resolver bolt pistol. Yes. Hitting on a two. Wounding on a three, because it's toughness five. AP three now. AP, yeah, AP three. AP two. Yeah, it kills one. Because it's a resolver bolt pistol, AP two, down to AP yeah. three. Yeah. Apothecaries... Uh... Resolver bolt pistol again, <laughs> in combat as well. I'm gonna use the reductor. Oh, pistol. okay. Pistol one, minus four, two damage. Yeah, so yeah. It hits. It doesn't wound though. Oh. And then the standard bolt pistol hits, doesn't wound. Okay, so we just got the redemptors. Yeah, here we go then. The targets are in line. And I think it's probably going to be, I'm going to have a guess, at this little brain bug down here and the X creep. Because you're going to charge everything else, I'm assuming. Yeah, so I'm going to start with this guy. The Icarus into the brain bug. Icarus. Storm Bolters into the brain bug. Into the brain bug, just to make sure he dies. He's the Gatling. And Baby Gatling into them. <gasps> baby Gatling over here. So and the plasma. The uh, plasma is the Exocrine. Exocrine, yeah. What's okay. my Storm Bolter? Yeah, because you've got two Icarus rocket pods, so I suppose you could put both Icarus pocket rocket pods into the brain bug. Yeah, so Storm Bolt was into them. Storm Bolt, they're in 12, so you get the eight shots. So we'll start with Storm Bolters. Storm Bolters. No bracket here, so he's hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Pull through two wounds. Oh. No way. AP, so these are just your five ups, are they? On the Zone Hopes. On the, on the oh, Gribblies no, down there. Five ups. Ooh, one. One. He's going to do it again, isn't he? He's going to make stupid five ups across the board, isn't he? <laughs> Baby Gatling into that as well. Oh, come on. No, just oh. the one. Terrible. 
He makes it. No, it's AP1, he dead. Oh, he dead. <laughs> Oh, we got his hopes up then. It wasn't a fight of a pinball. We're so sorry, you. Yeah, Icarus. <laughs> Into the brain bug for three. This is good. He's hitting on threes. He's, he's strength seven, so he's wounded on threes. These are four pinballs. Two damage a pop. Oh, he's oh, he took two. Move. What the? He's got two wounds left. No way. But that's what the other Icarus rocket pod is there yeah, for. And yep. then, and then the big, the the big plasma. Number of shots. This wow. one cannot seem to get any more than one shot. Let's CP it. Three yeah. shots. He's CP it. it. He's taken a and mortal wound. wound. And then he's wounded it at AP4. He's a two plus save. Oh, the X screen is, wound, is saving up on sixes. Nope. nope. Takes three damage. Down to nine. <sighs> cheeky, cheeky. Um, so, can you brackets in a minute? <laughs> <laughs> so, the flamer. Into the Hive Tyrant. Yep. yep. Rocket Pod and Storm Bolters into the Xanthrope. Just one Plasma second. into the X Crate. It, it does offend me that Famers no longer just hit everything in front of them. <laughs> yeah, that'd be that's so cool. Um, that is. So Plasma, Overcharging. Oh, one come shot. on! These dreads need to go back to one Mars hit. to learn how to do the, the job. It is a Wind. win, though. It is a six, six up, up save. Oh, it so takes the damage. Three more going through there. I don't um, even have any CP to try and risk this. Icarus. One oh, shot again. Doesn't even hit. Definitely. Brain bug is going to gonna survive. Oh no, he got the bolters. Stone bolters. My rolling is so bad today. Uh, that is two, two wounds. wounds. Uh, no EP, so these are two four up on the brain bug. With no CP for the reroll. Oh, he survives oh. on a wound. What the? Jesus, Jupiter is going on here. <laughs> and into the five tower of the flamer for five need fives for one, one. an Minus ap four. one though so these are four up again oh against who's right five tower so yeah it no, he takes one damage oh white scars i sat back so now i'm just thinking what well, is their look gonna change <laughs> it is their third favorite turn of the game so is their look gonna change? We're gonna roll straight into some charges. Yep. yep. We are gonna do. Should be nice and easy for you. <laughs> yep. Assault intercessors into Gribblies. Okay. Oh, that's, that's not the double ones I wanted. Just gonna keep Joy's in range of the chapter chaplain for the yep. re rolls and plus one to wound. The uh, Redemptor is gonna charge both of them. Oh, okay. Well, it's only a two inch charge. But he's smashing it in there with an eight, knocking over everybody as he goes in. Swinging that can, fist around. You can tag the wall, yeah. Yeah, try and, yeah you're going to try and tag the wall to get the calm effects in. He can, yeah. yeah. He gets to the wall because the way this works is as long as he's up against it, he can be in engagement range within two of an enemy model on the other side. And then the assault intercessors into the gribbly behind the wall. Uh, yeah, one guy can see it, but I don't have any CP. There's no, no. Time one guy. <laughs> And there we go, six so they're inches. Going to charge round so that, well, they're going to come around here. Yeah, um, they're going to come around there so the X-Creed has to move to get line of sight of them. Yeah. That's it, just line them up, six inches. Great job. Okay, then. We've got no CP to interrupt there. So, where are we going to start with? We're going to start with uh, that Redemptor into that so Carnifex. So, back Redemptor into the Carnifex, fighting over the top of his Primaris Librarian, giving him cover where he needs. So, five attacks, hit on threes. He's wounded on threes because he's strength 14. Two, sorry. Four wounds. At AP ridiculous now. Minus four now. Minus, yeah, sixes. four. Sixes. Nope. No sixes. They're going to take a minimum <laughs> of D, is it D3 it's plus three? three? Plus D3. So, D20 plus four. an extra one because it's four D3 essentially now. Four plus D3, yeah. So, you're going to take a minimum of 20 wounds because it's. Plus the extra one. <laughs> and it's not two left. So I mean, consolidate two I mean, that or not? No, you have yeah. to go around because I mean, they can't I get get through. I get damage minus one. I don't think it will save them. No, no. I don't think <laughs> I've got that so this Redemptor into your Hive Tyrant now. Oh, Redemptor into Hive Tyrant. Does he have a damage reduction? He does not. He does not. Oh. Oh, it's still enough to kill him. This is not two to wound. The, uh, the wall. It's just one though. No. no. Four plus in bomb. Yep. And he makes it. it! Oh! And then 
I've my leg to uh, also no, gets. You've got charges. Two still charges. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it doesn't really, as long as it, as it doesn't matter, it's not really mm. Yeah, it's not going to make a difference no. now. Oh. Yeah, it only makes a difference if we forget that the lecture needs to do it. Yeah. Right, so these assault intercessors into the release. These are re-rolling everything uh, now. Bugs, uh, that's the, the bonus. Auto, the auto kill as well. Yeah, they're AP2 now. You get six up save, don't you? The four up save or five up? No, five up. Oh, auto killing on twos. Think that's going to be enough. Three, five, ten, fifteen, eighteen. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. We took at least three away in the. The shooting phase, that is all the Gribbly's dead. But that's about blooming time. Yeah, exactly right. 18. Exactly, 18 left. It's about blooming time. He was able to sweep up one of those Gribbly units. It's about time we got rid of the ones. Well, the there, there are two <laughs> units. There are all three units still on the table in turn three. And they've been in combat with half a dozen of them for two rounds. And the okay. other unit into that unit, Gribbly's. Exactly the same now, but without the re-rolls, yeah, yeah. all the plus one to wound, so we're going to expect a lot less to die. There's going to be threes to wound, or threes to kill. Oh, that's a very poor there. We're still taking another one out. That looks like six to me. Six. Yep. That's a unit still surviving, correct? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Are they in synapse of anything anymore? Yeah, uh, the exocrine. No. No, no, no. no. Uh, no, in fact, they're not, because the X screen is inside So that means they're not fearless, is that correct? No, they're not fearless, I forgot about that. But they've so only lost can six, you consolidate though. me into, the, into that? So, yeah, I can't be seen. Thank you. Okay, then. So we've got the Lictor before ongoing combats, because he's yeah. got the fight first. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's got his six attacks. Six attacks from the Lictor. Hitting on threes. Hitting on twos. Hitting on twos. He's dropped one. Ooh. He's wounding on wounding threes, because yeah. he's shot seven. Oh, he's, he's dropped another two. two. Uh, AP minus three. So AP minus five ups. Five. Oh, he's saved two of them. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> he's going to he's gonna kill that Lictor. Lictor didn't quite make it. So how many Marines did that Lictor kill? Three. Three in total. Three in total. And quite... how many points is he worth? Seventy. That's about right. It's 95 points. So they're like 25. Uh, what's that? Yeah, I was hoping. 20 you, points a model. You killed was, 60 points. I was hoping with a bit of luck, you'd get the unit. So you got 60. points. But so, yeah, a bit of luck. But I think the armor content makes a difference. Yeah. So because oh, you've yeah, got no, that first, any ongoing combat, so you now get to pick a unit as well? Yes, because it's your turn, yeah. Um, well, I might as well pick the three Gribblies that are actually in combat <laughs> with somebody who will hit them first. Yes, that's it. Yeah, three Gribblies into the chapel. Fours. Four Fours. 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 hits. Five. Five. One. Three up. That was no, fine. No, no. Oh, we didn't have to They worry. were doing so well before. <laughs> uh, oh, I should have thrown out the MP. Yes. Yeah. No one. I'll remember that someday. We haven't heroically intervened here yet. Yep. We potentially could have. Ooh. Dice all over the place. I am... I'll charge him next turn, it's fine. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Unless he tags you now. <laughs> then you get to fight him anyway. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> Everything all over the place. So okay, here we go there. then. The chaplain into the three griblies. All hit. Two's to kill. They'll probably tag me, is it? That's it, all dead. It's about time a unit died eventually. That's two Gribbly units now dead. We didn't do your grind them down for last term. I think you didn't make it. Uh, no. Didn't in turn two, no. No. But turn three looks like it's going to be possible. Yeah. Uh, and then the two guys down here. Against the one wounded Lictor. He's only got one wound left. Yep. He's at AP2, two damage. Five up. He's only got one wound left. Minus anyway. one to hit, remember, as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 he's top of his five. Oh, no! Oh, the nice. Lictor survives! <laughs> so <laughs> ridiculous. Such oh. bad and then we've got the flying hive tyrant to fight back. The, fly, yeah. uh, the winged hive tyrant. The wounded one. Hitting on twos with his five attacks. Still hitting on twos? He hasn't dropped he's him down. Dropped he made his move on. He's dropped one wound so far. So no rerolls required. Yeah, all hit. 
Uh, strength 10, threes. Uh, I will use the tail reroll. No, it didn't make a difference. So three mortal wounds and my AP minus four on three of them. Okay, so these are sixes. sixes. No. no. So that's three damage each. So six damage from the tail and then three mortal wounds. That's nine damage in total. Down to three. He's down to three With wounds. Two talons. He's, he's got even more attacks. He's got two talons. Hitting on twos. Oh, uh, reroll ones. You already rerolled the... Uh, here's the question. Does the last rip only allow it for... Oh, it allows it on anything. Okay, Perfect. so this is the reroll ones. They, they, they... So both are three. And then this yep. is only straight seven. So he's a four to wound. One. one AP. AP is minus three. He Just didn't three. make it. Damage. It's damage. Only one. Only, Only one. one. Those previous attacks were damage three, yeah? Yeah. Plus damage down, plus reduced down to two, yeah. and then the three mortals. So yeah, yeah. We, we did work it out right. <laughs> it, it was six damage from that, and then the three mortals on top. So they're made up for the reduction in damage. And then yeah. I've got my bugs here. Oh, the big the buggies down here two, against the intercessors. Yeah. Six, eight, ten. No, Ten books like... against the incessors. Four, six, eight. I can't count. Eight. I'm eight pretty bucks. sure I went two, four, six, ten. <laughs> no worries. Fours, Fours and then fives. No, that's two threes, isn't it? Oh, three, three. wounds. Oh, oh, he loses no, one. Three. Oh, no. Uh, the one at the back that you can oh. see. Yeah. One assault intercessor goes down. So I lost six here. You lost six, yeah. Assuming so your leadership is six. So I need a one to see. If this yep, one right. always stays around. Oh, he rolls a one! one. one. Heroic! He is heroic! Insane bravery! We have some griblies over there holding some intercessors up. It's probably not the bad, the worst case scenario for you, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, they're, not, they're not going to be able to fall back onto that objective, so that's true. And no, we are no. now going to be moving into the Griblies, the Nids. It's their turn three. Let's see how they're going to retaliate. We'll come back after their movement. We'll just quickly give you a roundup of points, though. Uh, what's the points on the doors at the moment? So, with Stranglehold, and I got the direct assault ones. Yep, I can't remember how many points they are. Um, Currently 38 to 28. 38 to the White Scars. 28. So it's a 10 point difference at the moment. Yeah. We're going to go into the Griblies. They're only going to get four points for holding one objective. They need to start killing some stuff off units and getting those secondaries. Yep. Okay, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, not a lot of movement for the Nids because they haven't got a lot of models left. Nope. You know, it took three turns, oh. but whittled them down. we still got the Parasite to quickly move. Where are we going with him? Uh, he's going to come back this He's going to go back here. Do you want to just quickly do that for us, yeah, Rich? Just move him back towards his 16, 16 inches. 16 inches. Is he going to be able to jump across them? No, not quite. No, not quite. Oh. I'll just yeah. put him outside uh, one inch. Uh, I might as well charge with him rather than... Yeah, he's moved his 16 then. He's going to look like he's going to try and charge it because if he can kill that unit, it's going to help him hopefully score more for that grind them down. Yep. So here we go then. That's all the movement done. The is okay. still alive. Yeah, still in still combat. Alive he shouldn't be, him. but he is. So let's go for the psychic phase then. Uh, Reroll everything went on to the, the, everything went over that way. And uh, we did the... Uh, uh, no, the, it's gone on to the warrior because he's the only valid target, sorry. Oh, the warriors, okay, yeah, no worries. So that one warrior is gonna be pretty much beefed up to everything. Psychic phase, we've got the big gribbly in the back here. We've got the little brain bug that's just moved up a little bit to get line of sight on everybody that's still there. And then we've got the swarm lord that's moved up. Okay, where are we starting then? Hive tyrant, brain so, bug. We're going to start with the. Um, we're going to start with the swarm lord. Swarm lord, yeah. And he's going to do smite. Yep. And he's going to do. Um, so I hit scream again. He's going to do the same thing he's been doing all game, but actually okay. hopefully get something off. And is he doing the three d six? He's not. But he's no. just failed his smite. He's just failed his smite. He's got a CP. He could re-roll it. And he's failed his. His psychic scream as well. So no smite damage over to the chaplain again. The wise guys are now feeling the pressure being relieved. Smite's on sixes from the winged high turret. Smite from a six, yep. That does well. Oh, that goes ten. off with a ten. No plus one there. No, no plus one. Okay, we do have a plus one to oh, deny. He was, he was the D, 3d6 as well. Oh, he is the 3d6 guy. So we're not taking we're that not six because he doesn't want to <laughs> peril. Okay. What, um, 
Yeah, you can also smoke the Zentro itself. Try one. Nope. 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 Okay. So D3. D3 onto the. It's just one oh, onto no. the Contemptor. He's got what? One left? Yep. One left. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I've also got on him. I'm trying to remember what I've got. He's, he's having a quick look. He's also got Psychic Scream. But we've already used Psychic okay. Scream and that doesn't it. stack. So we're going to have to go for Paroxysm. And we're going to go into the Librarian. Okay. So useless power. He's just trying to pelz himself. It doesn't go off. No. Well, so, it's a minus one to attack as well. Um, oh, a minus one to attack yeah. from, from the Librarian. Oh no. <laughs> Smite from uh, the Zone. Yeah, into the Redemptor. It's now on a six because he's got a seven. plus one for himself. Yep, yeah, so it's a seven with a plus one, so a six. It doesn't, doesn't go, go off. off. It's probably a good idea that he just lets it go, probably. I don't know. Um, I'm going to Catalyst, which I always forget about anyway. Um, I'm going to cast this my wing type out. Okay, from? Uh, from the... US That's a double here. one, but he gets the plus one. It's still an automatic fail, though. Because yeah. you can never... It's you always natural. take the peril. You always take it if it's natural. It's, it's, it's D3. And he's D3. He's going to take, gonna take it. it. He's going to take the D3. Of course he rolls a three. That happened last game as well. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not sad. Stage, not sad, he's not it? sad this stage yet. I think at this stage there is wow. the same amount of models and marines as there is nids on the table, and he's like, "Yeah, I'll take every nid dead or every wound possible so out there." Not a single psychic power did anything again, apart from two one, one turns. On two turns now that have done zero damage to the to the to the space marines in in the psychic phase for nids. Shooting them. I really needed to get rid of that. Uh, you did. Uh, you did. I would have re-rolled my uh, smite. I would off with a CP. Yeah, probably. <laughs> from the neuro throat, from the brain bug. Okay, here we go then. Who's shooting okay. and what? So the only shooting that I can actually currently do is the X-Cream and these guys. So yep. we're going to start with these guys. Start with the warrior. They're all going into the chat room. Okay. Everything explodes on six within 24 inches. Six is explode. Remember this because it's my imperative from the... Yeah. Prime, um, except probably the X screen doesn't get it because I think he's out of Okay, no sixes to explode. He does though. get re rolls though. He has got the complete re rolls of Warrior, that's correct. Yep, that's two hits, two hits, and strength. then strength six. So uh, I didn't cast him by a song, did I? So strength five. So he's strength five, yeah, it didn't go off. So four's the wound. It's, it's one, just one four pin bar. Oh no. Damage one. Dam oh, he's fine. He's like, Psh, yeah, damage one. I don't mind. Captain takes that. From the, the prime. prime. No rerolls here, though. He's hitting no. on fours. He's winning on fours. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And the X Cream into the Redemptor for D3. Minus one to hit. Where's D3 first? So yep. Yeah, so it's shots. eight shots. Yeah, it's going to be minus one because of the way that the, the train works nowadays and the dents in the middle with that piece there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Can't see the whole base without going through the dents. So, I'm not bracketed, so it's now fours with the decrease. Fours to hit, that's not a bad roll. And then strut eight. Three is the win. That's four. And it's AP minus four. There's a six, six up saves. Six. He, makes he makes one. one. Oh, 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 damage, three each. So it's yep. down to six because he seven. reduces damage. And that's, that's where seven wounds not left. killing the other that's where not killing the redemptor is now an absolute waste of my time. Well, to be honest, my personal preference would have had the X screen shooting at the uh, the chaplain at this stage from where he was. Can but I that's me. It? Yeah, you can, yeah. Oh well, yeah, I can. But that was oh, yeah. my decision. That's why I didn't say anything. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even twig I could see him. Always, okay. check, always check your line of sight. Always check your line of sights and check where your priorities are in your secondaries. Okay, here we go then. We haven't killed anything. You needed to kill three units to stop you from scoring grind. Yep. Is okay. that still possible? Well, I can definitely get one. Well, so. well, I don't know about the definite. We thought it was going to happen in the in the psychic phase, and that redemptor is still there. I know. So yeah, know. let's uh, let's do some charging. Okay, easy charges, because these two are going to charge him. Yep. And then, actually, he might not be within. He's, he's within Just, two. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he might not be in. <laughs> the, the intention was two the, available the, charges. The parasite is going to charge. Yeah. He was, yep. And the swarm lord is going to charge into the intercessors. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to take the risk. Okay. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit because I don't think the, the um, parasite can kill them on his own. Okay. So, interested. Um, Exocrine. He's not going to charge it. Okay, let's go and do he, some he charges. He's shooting, and that is all he does because he's useless at everything else. <laughs> okay, no worries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who would you like to start with first? There's no CP to interrupt. The Lictor no. will fight before the intercessors, even yeah. though it goes across. So it's all your charging units, good sir, and then we'll move on to ongoing combats. So we'll start. Which with... will be the Redemptor going first against the Hive Tyrant. Yeah. I'm not liking it. This is where paroxysm actually on him would have been really useful. Uh, so I'll, go to the, I'll do the Lictor first. Okay. Well, it's minus one to hit. Yes. Minus one to win, yeah, sorry. yeah. So it would have been three attacks instead of four. A minus one to hit. Um, With a minus one to hit. Wound. Um, sorry, I keep saying I keep saying it wrong because that's what the old parrot is. Anyway, um, six attacks from the Lictor. Twos. <sighs> three ones. Uh oh, we've got two. Only two Marines left though. Mm -hmm. Three's the wound. That is two Ooh. wounds. He's minus three though. So five ups. That is both the Marines dead. The Lictor has just secured the backfield objective. objective. Oh no. He needed that though, because that's going to take him obsec at this, not obsec, it's going to take him to Stranglehold. He now needs to kill these intercessors down here to secure Stranglehold this turn, as there's nothing in the middle and there's nothing holding the objective at the back there. Yeah, I probably should charge both. But anyway, um, Parasite of Mortrax will go first. Parasite of more tracks into the incessors down here though. So six attacks. Mm, he's only hit he's hit on twos, but he's missed two. Oh. He's strength five. Three is the wound with the toughness four. That is three wounds. He's damaged one though, so. AP on these. Uh, AP is minus two. So these are four up saves, he loses one. Damage one, so it kills one because he was on a wound. And now, can the Oviop to do anything this time? Twos. He makes it. He is, yeah. Uh, strength six, so still threes. He does it. So it's minus one, which doesn't matter for you. So it's three up is fine, but, but it is the you are now You suffer a mortal wound and you are infected. You are now infected. He tried so, it twice now, but it's only just got around to it. So if, it, if you survive into the next turn, You'll start doing, but you're also losing offset, so that's fine at the moment. He's still yeah, more muzzles than you, minute, but yeah. It might matter later. And here comes uh, the swarm lord. The swarm lord's going next. The swarm lord is nine attacks because he's still not taking any damage. Three, six. You can do it. Nine. Come on, you can stay alive. Two. He's gonna fail them all. He's gonna fail them all. There's a one at least. One. Uh, he doesn't get his rerolls because there are no rerolls on the swarm walls for some weird reason that nobody understands. It, it's not like you really need it. No, I've got nine attacks. So really <laughs> You're a character. Nobody else gets it. Uh, nine. Trajan. <laughs> Drazar. Drazar, yeah. So strength nine. So two is the wound. Two. So I drop two. AP. So six. Uh, AP minus four. Oh, these are six up saves. Damage, that is only, he saves one. Damage three, so it is a straight kill for the Marine. Oh, he's six, oh, he's only rolled five, yeah, that's all the Marines dead. Well done, Swarm Lord. Is he gonna tap the Chaplain? Is he gonna tag him? Uh, he might as well. He's gonna, he's gonna tag the Chaplain, are you sure? No, I'm not. Ah, oh, he's not gonna do it. Okay, so we got the Warrior and the Prime still to fight into the, the, the Chaplain. Yeah, we'll do the Warrior first with his Rending Claws. Yeah. So he's hit. He's got three attacks, hitting on threes. Yeah, he's got the complete rerolls he here. Does. I'm bad. The threes, and then minus four. I think it makes up on a four up in van, so one goes through, two damage. We'll check the other one, and do you want to check that now? That's right. Just go straight onto the prime. If the prime doesn't kill him, tell you what, he wouldn't have made the save anyway, but. We can check it if we want. Yeah. It's only, it's only one damage each anyway. Um, it's only one damage. It's only one damage. Oh. oh, okay. I thought it was two. No. He's got three wounds left then. It's uh, the prime four, then. Four attacks from the prime. Uh, plus one for having dual bone swords. These are damaged too. Uh, twos. Oh, that's not good. And strength seven. So three's the wound. Oh, it's gosh. only one. He fails it though. He fails it. Oh. Okay. 
and then it's ongoing, of which there are two. Yeah, and the Redemptor so, gets to go first. The yeah, that makes sense. Two hits. One wound. Four up. Ooh. He doesn't so take it. Four it's... plus. I'll take the reroll. <laughs> oh. Was that the CP reroll? That's the CP reroll. The CP reroll. That's what it was being so for. Okay. Gribblers. The Gribblies. That's eight, eight of them. it. Yeah. We took one down eight, last two, time. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. Uh, it's not, not this time around. Right no. Five to win. Five. One. Can they take a wound? They oh, can. Let's take another wound. Oh my goodness. Come on, intercessors. Smash them back. So you should kill them. I'm actually going to go with the chaplain. Yep. Two, two attacks into yep. the warrior, three attacks into the prime. So, into the warrior. Yep, hits both times. He wounds both times. So this AP is now minus three. Four? Oh, three overall, because yep. it's the... He's just shit it. Yep, shit canned. He's only got two wounds there. Yep, but hit. all hit, yep. So that's all wound. immortal plus... Yeah, and immortal. The three prime minus the, three. And the prime had taken wounds earlier as well. So things are like no, two wounds. Yeah, he, he, took, wounds from he the... took wounds from the the outriders when he first charged in. He was down like to two wounds. Oh, that was so probably, this that is was, that so, was probably his then. Sorry. Yeah. So this is one, one mortal wound plus three at minus three. Yeah. So he's gonna be six uh, years. Is... That's him dead. That's both of them dead. That's what the chaplain needed to do coming back into his turn. Oh, it's gonna be a close turn on turn four. I tell you that now. Do you want me to roll the one wound, or should we just? Assume you, never you never know. You never know. I love rolling dice. Oh, oh there's the two ones. The ones eh? Yeah. So we drop one already. He's a two, three. I'll re-roll one of them because I need to. It's two You're of taking them. Yeah. Two mortals. You're taking the mortals. Two of the mortals anyway. Does he blow up? No. Oh. That's why he was asking, did you want to roll? Because it was the mortals he yeah. does when he just automatically hits you. But that is going to free him up, though, for have the other Redemptor now charge into him or attack him or whatever he wants to do. That's really why it needed to die in that side of the <laughs> Okay, okay. So that's going to be the end of the Tyranids uh, turn three. They killed yeah. one, two, three yeah. units, but the Chaplain was able to kill two back. Right. So that is going to get them, grind them down. Them. Yeah. And assassinate for me. And assassinate for the prime because the prime yep, is a character. character. Yep. And what was the other assassinate? Just, just, just the prime. Just the prime. Yep. If I can ever charge the two characters in the middle, okay, I might be okay. But we did get stranglehold for the the Tyranids. Yep. We were able to get zero assassinate that point that time. Yep. So no assassination points and raise the banner for one point. We have got the one point for raise the banner. It's got to top it up every time. It's got to keep going. Uh, that's going to be the end of round and three. get direct assault for... Yeah, uh, for yeah. not holding it, for killing a unit and then holding it at the end. So three. Three points for that. So going into round four. Round four, yep. Yeah. I don't know about that, Chaplin. Go on then, Chaplin. So still one, two for me. Yep. Yeah. All right. Is it, does his litany go off? Yeah, uh, charging. Yep. Yeah. That goes yeah, off. And uh, re-roll uh, plus one to wound. Plus one to wound, goes off. Okay, nice. Getting on twos, you can have the plus two to the charge range. Where's he going? He can uh, go into that building, can't he? Uh, he can go around it, yes, he just can't. But there's a guy up against the wall anyway. What are we thinking? Are we just gonna run around the wall? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, 16 inch move. <laughs> it's, it's, and I'd run some charge. I should have tagged him. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I don't want a swarm to die. Yeah, I should have done them first. Because he's worth four points because yeah. of he's, he's your warlord. Yeah. See, if I thought about it, I would have attacked with the prime and the, and the warrior first, and then I'd have known I needed to tag him. Yes. So you've given um, your strats there that I didn't use. So I can do that one. Oh, oh I never attacked back with my assault intercessors last turn. No, you didn't, yeah. yeah so just quickly, what is there, four of them left? No, you did. No, you didn't um, kill any. any. You, you did a wound back and then he didn't attack back. Oh. Yeah. I don't know which one's also here. One, two, three. One, two, oh, no, it's three, 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 three. three. You're not in that three. Because I'll be wanting to move those in the movement phase in a moment. 
And this is threes to kill. Did we get eight? No. Four, we got seven. Seven. And then he needs morale. Yeah, you need to roll a one. You need to roll another one. Unsane bravery. Oh no, that's all eight dead, unfortunately. Uh, I'll just let you move them. Yeah, we'll move them, then grab them. <laughs> so, I'm gonna... He couldn't roll too many dice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, eventually my luck runs out. It always starts really good in the invulnerables, and then it's sort of... Um, my imperative... Gonna... Yeah, that's right, you go for it. Yep. My, course, my imperative is going to be fall back and charge. Uh, move well. We'll shift the librarian a little closer to the Hive Tyrant. To the Hive Tyrant, yeah, so he's the closest, yeah. Yeah. And we'll try a smite. And an eight. Yeah, which drops down to a seven. 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 You've got your denial. You've got plenty of denies, so... No, no, no we don't though. D three into the two, two wounds onto the hive tire. Didn't get a cast. Didn't start. get it off. No, you got nothing off. <laughs> uh, and then null zone. Uh, yeah, you got nothing off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That doesn't go off with the minus one, unfortunately. So I'm going to use my CP. Okay. Okay. Why not? Yeah. That's so a ten. 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 No, oh, not this time round. Your <laughs> oh, I'm not liking that. He's only got a five plus save normally. <laughs> yeah. We were saying earlier that we really didn't like things that turned invulns off. Yeah. No, now you I'm don't. I'm the one yeah. that doesn't like That's it, it yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um... We've only got a few bits of shooting. The Incessors did advance, so it just leaves the Bolt Pistols down here and the Redemptor. So the Absolver Pistol from the... Uh, is a strength five AP one, so it's AP two now, two damage into the zone throat. Into the zone throat, okay. It's wounds, doesn't wound, it's toughness five. It's yeah. not strength. Your oh, strength yeah, five, yeah. so you need Dive. the fours yet. Uh, bolt pistol from the library, yeah. Standard bolt pistol, the... it's does wounds. wound AP one now, six. No, dead. Oh, zone throat goes down. Does he explode with all that white warp uh, sigil power running through him? Sadly not. Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> it's a bit disappointing. <laughs> if, it was, if I had the Trigon uh, imperative on them, maybe. But okay, straight maybe. into the firing of the Redemptor, the last shooting unit on the board. Yeah, so the... Pretty Is right. he the one with the flamer? No, no, that's the Pyrovoids. He's just got a big... No, no. no. Dreadnought, sorry. Oh, yeah, he's the, the one with the flamer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's got Flamer. Sorry, Flamer, Hive Tyrant, Plasma, yeah. uh, Exocrine. How many wounds has he got left? He's got nine. Nine uh, wounds uh, left. No, the, six. Six, six wounds left on the Exocrine. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do I put the Plasma into the Hive Tyrant to charge the Exocrine? I, I, yeah, Plasma into the yeah. Hive Tyrant. Basically, everything into the Hive Tyrant. Everything into the Hive Tyrant, yeah. Plasma. I'm going to overcharge. You're going to overcharge your plasma? Five shots. There we go. I've moved position. I've gone around the table a little bit and the dice roll in a so, hot turn. Two more, two more wounds. Two more wounds. That is going to drop me down into the middle bracket. But it's a point of shooting, isn't it? Yeah, so, you do it after. Yeah, we'll sort it after. One wound. One wound. On the Hive Tyrant. On the Hive Tyrant. He's got no invon. It is AP4. We'll drop him down to five. five. Yeah. But everything fires simultaneously, so this is not going to take effect yet. Uh, AP minus four. That? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, he's only got three up. Yeah, yeah, so they just go straight through. Is that two, was it? Uh, one. Three. One. Yeah, it was just one, yeah. yeah. So one down to eight. Yeah. Okay, then. And then the all the sworn arms fire now. Two shots. Two hits. One wound. One wound. AP one. So four arrows. It's oh. a two. Oh no, the oh, blue dice is let it down. Though, it, it is straight two, yeah. yeah. Ignore that. Yeah. So six. Uh, the flamer. Four, three. It's going to be fives. Oh. AP one. It's a heavy flamer. He makes yeah, that one. There's the four. Get it in the box. Stormbolt is. <laughs> oh no, because he started it. Yeah, yeah. You fire yeah. it all simultaneously. It's just this is easier, isn't it? So. Okay, two. Two. Uh, no AP, so these are three ups now. He needed it, it needed to be three ups. Okay, so that's all the shooting. We've got the magic number now of the, the special phase that the White Scars love to do, which is combat time. 
Right. <laughs> Who um, are we charging with first? Assault intercessors into the hive tyrant. Into the hive tyrant, yeah. It's probably going to be a three. That's plenty. They're in. The Redemptor's in, so we'd have to roll for yeah. that unless you wanted to. No, Redemptor over. Yeah. Chaplain into Neurothrope. Roll, roll for him anyway, why not? Uh, Chaplin into Neurothrope, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, but I want to move yeah. him yeah. around so he's on the objective. Oh, okay, so we want to move him around so he gets onto the objective. He's got like a seven inch charge. Uh, no, so he can't, he go can't through be the through the wall, so no, he just no, needs to, just to be. That's it, perfect. To, yeah. yeah, perfect. Cool. Got one wound. You can do this. Librarian <laughs> into uh, High Tyrant as well. He's, he's in. in. Yeah. And I'll leave the apothecary okay. in the objective. Cool. So we'll shift everyone in. All right. So we're going to start with the chaplain. Chaplain into the brain bug over here. The big brain bug hitting on twos. He's got the plus one to wound off. So he's going to be twos again. He's dropped two. So that's three wounds. Three, three up wounds. wounds. Any one of these will Three up in bonds. Oh no! Oh no! Wow. <laughs> he's dead, Dave. He's dead, he's dead Dave. Dave. He's dead, Dave. Oh, we just needed to make up invulnerable saves. Three plus invulnerable oh. saves. Oh, two of them. Painful. So, librarian. Librarian, yeah. That's three hits. There's going to be two wounds. So these are now minus P4. four. Four. You don't get an armor save. And they are D3 right. plus one for each one. Yeah. So oh, that's not too oh, bad. Four, but... Six wounds in total. Because it's D3 plus one. Oh, it was two wounds. No, yeah, 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 four. Yeah, two, four. Two. My apologies. He's four. there's two. He's got two wounds left. Can the incestors do it? The incestors got to do I'm it. I'm hoping not. There's only four though. I'm trying to kill that librarian. They are fives to wound. Sergeant, so, one. They, get, they do two I've really damage. Yeah, into that middle objective, have I? It, well, to be honest, to be honest, it's just about the end of your mortal wounds. Yeah. <laughs> your psychic phase I really let you down. I had two yeah. turns of naff psychic. Phase. That's it. Yeah. Makes up for all the water. Those Fives and sixes. Come on. We've got one. Oh, two, so three. Three. Maybe minus two, yeah? Yeah, so he's a five up save. See how he can do again. Me five two. up to his magic number. No. But not tonight. They go down. Oh, the flying hive tyrant goes down to chain swords. And a redemptor. Yep. Hitting on. Now he's hitting on fours. Oh, so leave him looking pretty. Yep. Three hits. And then Wind twos. on threes. Top of the eight, is he? Top of the eight. Oh, yeah, threes. So that's two wounds minus four. Four. Yeah. Do you get six, six up? Plus, so you get six, six ups. ups. Nope. No. Nope. Double five. So, he's dead. Yeah, lots of damage. <laughs> he says minimum five each. It says ten damage just with those two attacks he got through. Oh, um, come on, camera. Catch up. Uh... So that's the Exocrine down. Ooh, that's the Flying Hive Tyrant down. That's the Brain Bug down. Let's just leave him the Swarm Lord and the Parasite left alive. You're in. It's your turn four. Yeah. What are you doing, bud? <laughs> well, I've got nothing that anything oh, can To be honest, after turn one, after seeing all of those fail, you know, failures to kill the mini bugs, that's just uh, insane. It makes up for it, doesn't it? Uh, so we killed three, four of your units. Nine inches gets me to yeah. there. I'm mean, assuming the parasite is just going to go behind here and raise a banner. Um, yeah, I kind of have to, which is really annoying because I kind of want to get him in. But I, uh, I do need to actually... Then we're going to have the lick to raise a banner over here. Yeah, and that'll get me three banners. Two banners because that, that one's one. now dropped. Next turn. One. Yeah, but that did get you eight points for primary because you were holding two. Yep. Okay. So I have no shooting. But I do have Psychic. So we'll do the Psychic. We've got one Psychic unit left that's in range of anything. So yeah, Can he give any abilities to himself in the command phase, like re-roll anything? Nope. Nope. It's all core <laughs> it's units. All core. All core units. Now, the closest model is equally distanced between the... Oh. the <laughs> one. Would they not have... Yeah, they could yeah, have, yeah. They could have con c c c done that, yeah. yeah. Towards the... And that would have put the incessors. You mean your um, consolidation after killing the Swarm Lord? Yeah. And the high throat type. Yeah, that's... Okay, so, so he's going to go into the incessors being so the closest. I can give him Catalyst, which is a 5 plus feel no pain, which I keep forgetting about. Um, or I could just try and smite you. So I'm going to try and smite you. Yeah, we know how well that's gone so far. Five. No <laughs> 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 plus one to hear. Psychic Scream. That so does go off, but go we off. do have a denial. 
plus one because you're within And that 12. goes off that, yeah, it denies. So, no so psychic. Ward is just going to barrel himself in. I don't think he can just touch the Apothecary, sadly. You can, you can charge any models there he wants. But don't forget, every model you do charge puts you in engagement range, and then they're going to all get to swing back at you. Yeah. I'm just wondering and if I... there's no in buttons in there. I think I have to get into here to do the charge oh, just the oh, Apothecary. Just the apothecary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have to touch the wall and then be, and then he has to be within two of that wall then. So it's going to be a five, I think. Okay. Five inch charge. This is what the CP's for. I need it. He's I don't in. need it. Okay. That is going to squeeze him in there. That's going to avoid the intercessors. But and he could... I now control that objective because I am a five model obsec unit. Oh, well, okay. No, we're both obsec. But he's got five well, models. He counts five as models. five. And you've got three on there. Oh, right. Okay. If you include the librarian. It should be taken. Yeah. 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 Did you want to hurriedly intervene with the librarian? No. 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 Okay, so you've got your nine attacks against the apothecary. Yep. Hitting on twos. Two. We can just pick up the apothecary. <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, it, it could just roll. We could just roll and see and what that happens. Minus four? It's minus four, so you get your six yeah. up save. Oh. Yeah, yeah. With still no pains. Yeah, because it's not really the tracks. <laughs> it is only three damage. We should apart. Kept forgetting. <laughs> really, really people with tracks should have negated the further pains. Um, oh, okay, okay. So he dead. Go on, go on, roll for it. Let's see the two oh. wounds or three three, whatever it is. Uh, twos. Twos. Yeah, there's plenty mm. there. And we you know, just yeah. we just rolled a few dice, so that's the apothecary gone bye bye. <laughs> that is the end of turn four. Um, I'm, I'm gonna jump. You monster, so you can't. can't. You no, have to have you're not an infantry own. model, so you can't go right through it. So you just find an into the mall, Just stay where you are. It's well, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work out if I can avoid getting shot. No. Well, you could come into combat with me, and I couldn't shoot you with my dreadnought. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to work out. Yeah, I'd... but there's currently no invuns in there. With yeah. AP2, two, two damage. And if you just hold off, he's then got to cast no the invol again. No invol. And then he's going to, yeah, no, if you worry. pile on there, he's then going to pile yeah. on with his Marines. Yeah, I'll leave it. I'll he'll get his it. three inch consolidation pile in and he'll get all his Marines on there. Your count's five against his five and then yeah, you won't get your stranglehold. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, you're so, best off, stay where you are, yeah, buddy. I'll stay where I am. You do get three points for stranglehold. Yep. He does get three points for assassinate and he doesn't get any points for banners because he was taken down but he's yeah. raised. Turn five for and the I White Scars. Three for grind down. You get three for grind them down, yeah, because he's yeah. only killed one model. Um, turn five. Turn five, yeah. We're there, Matt. We're there. We We're actually there. made it. I made, we made it, it to turn, turn five. five. And you've still got models on the table. <laughs> I know. I've not been tabled by the end of turn so three. So you're holding two for eight. Yeah. Um, you did get three points for of also as well for direct assault. Yeah. You take an objective and you kill the unit at the end there. Yeah. Um, so all you've got to do, essentially, is just kill that Swarm Lord. Yep. Yeah? Yep. And then that's... Pretty much the game because the um, other two are going to stay where they are. It's still pretty close because you are going to get these points here, but yeah. yeah. And I'm not yeah. going to give up um, the parasites eight. points. Yeah, you're not going to give up eight points there. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the redemptor is going to yeah bimble this way. He's only got a six inch move though now. Yeah. So I can still charge to that side of the wall when I want to. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, Maybe it should have moved in slightly. Every, everyone else combat. needs to be an unfailable charge away. Yep. I'm not going to bother moving the chaplain because he's, he's doing what he's doing. Yeah. Right. Smite. 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 Yep. Oh, 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 it says super smite, but it is. He has caused uh, the damage. Yeah, perils. He's going to take the perils, so he needs. He can't deny. I can. It's double six. Oh, oh it is a double six with a minus one. Yeah. So on me. Yeah. Three mortal wounds, of course, there was six. On you, four. I am 12 wounds. Yep. No, 13 wounds. So he's got nine wounds left on the Swarm Lord. Null zone. Null zone. He's not going off. I do get a CP this turn, though. He is going to use CP, re-roll it. No. Oh, actually, because you periled, you don't get to do anything. Does that finish yeah, the cycle? I believe so, yes. We can double check that. We'll be back in a that minute. Would've. We'll double check. So we just did a quick check. We couldn't see in the rule book. We're going to crack on. It's getting late here tonight. He did not uh, Did use the CP anyway, so Rich is happy to take it as the CP's been spent. It didn't go off, so Null Zone is a psychic power that didn't go yeah. off. Shooting. Intercessor bolt pistols. 
into the Swarm Lord, yeah. obviously. Not taking the minus one, so these are threes and then fives. One wound. One wound, AP two. two. One wound. Five. One. One. You got two dice in your hand. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> he, he takes it. it. He takes one damage. The He's down to eight now, eight is pistol. he? Eight. Eight. He hits with the bolt pistol. Doesn't win. Doesn't win though. And then it's the Redemptor with all the massive firepower. So Let's see that plasma. Overcharge plasma. So Four. Three, three shots. He's overcharging it. So one mortal wound and one hit. Uh oh. It's three down of four. It is a wound. Four pin bar. Oh, he survives! He does take the mortal. Lamer. Why does he Two. take the mortal? I he take a mortal. He, oh, he does it, yeah, yeah, because he overcharged. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one at minus one. <laughs> one four if we can. Uh, no, three up. It's a minus one. He's not two up save, is he? He's two up save. Oh, he's got two up save? No. Okay, I'll shut up then. Uh, Stormbolt there. Yes, he's got three up. He, he trades it for wings. Yeah. Well, there's uh, two. two. But two up saves because he's in no AP then. Two, two up. Oh, oh two up coming in clutch there. The Icarus. Three shots. Two hits. One wound. Oh, AP Minus one. So threes. Two on the Icarus. Only one? in the heavy. Oh no. So it takes uh, two damage. I'll just take the damage so I can try and save off some in combat. Yeah. And then is it the did the flamer? That guy's uh, got the yeah, flame. Yeah, he's done the flame. That's everything then, isn't it? Yeah. Let's do some charges. Charges. Redemptor. He's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Assault intercessors in. Librarian in. Okay. So, we're going to start with the assault intercessors. We've got one CP left on uh, on Ewan's side. So, we had a chat as well. And the Swarm Lord has an ability that allows him to ignore the first damage taken in combat. Okay. Which is why we're doing the Assault Intercessors. <laughs> uh, assault Intercessors go there first. Two damage. Take, two damage. Two damage. To take the damage away. That's a terrible roll. And how many wounds have we got left on the Swarm Lord? We've got six. Six wounds left. If we got fives. So that's two... At minus two. So these are two four up saves. I'm gonna make them both. I'm gonna make either. Oh, so that's, you ignore two. You ignore the first you ignore one. The first so you two, take so you take two. two. Who's going next? It's got four left. Redemptor only needs one to go through. I've got my CP reroll left. He's two's the wound though. That's three wounds. Three wounds. Four ups. Oh, no, hey. even with the CP, no, it doesn't matter. It. That's him dead. He doesn't explode. Uh, that is he the. Oh, he does, but he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't want. Okay, that yeah, because that would make a difference. Because with the uh, with the librarian, uh, librarian on th two wounds. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I could have made it. Okay, so um, well, so that's the end of round five, turn five for the white scars. They're gonna get the stranglehold because they're holding okay. three. They're gonna direct get assault direct points. assault for three because they wasn't holding it at the beginning, and then they killed. I've just maxed. You've just maxed out assassination. Yeah. And grind is one. I doubt it that he's going to be able to kill one because as it stands at the moment, if oh, he wait. stays where he is, you'll get the eight points. Yeah. You could have a look at the final scores to see if primary actually so makes a difference. Let's roll through with this then. Yeah. So it would only one, two. It would only be a difference in that I if I killed the librarians. But that's what we're looking at now. Yeah. Three, so so it, does I it make a difference if he holds the primary? At the end of the game, because he holds it at the, the end. So if he holds the eight points, uh, if he holds the eight, would that actually increase you, no his strangle primary? Hold and you get two for raise. No, I mean, would it actually increase his primary though? Is he maxed out primary yet, or does he uh, need to get the eight to get no, to primary? No, you need to. Hang on. You get the results. You'll be able to see. Yeah. No. So you need them. You need them to get yeah, it. So yeah, yeah, that's what we're looking at because if he's already maxed out primary, he could then just bolt him up there to try and take out the librarian for an extra three points. Yeah. But yeah, that's not going to be beneficial and not worth it because so he's going to stay I'll there and get the extra points. Held, held anything. So. Well, yeah, but yeah, you were pinned in though from turn one. Um, really so was. that is the end of the game. We're going to get the eight points at the end of the game for holding the two objectives here yeah, for the nids. Yeah, They're points. going to get the two banners as well at the beginning and at the end. So that's going to be four points on turn five. Do you get them at the beginning and the end of the turn? Yeah. Or is it all scored at the end of the turn? No, you get the beginning of the turn and then the end of the game. That's how the that's how it's worded, so yeah. You get five on banners. So. so you get four on banners right at the last turn there. Yeah. So that's not too bad. Um, and then you don't get assassinate for anything on the last turn, and you don't get a um, 
You don't get stranglehold, I and it gives deny. you the three points for the grind because you don't get the deny. Yeah. Yeah. So what's so the final score? Scores on the doors. It's, it looks Two like minutes. it's really close. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight points. Good. Really White good. Stars. Ninety-three. How did you get ninety-three points? I ended up maxing, maxing the primary. Was... Maxing the primary. Yeah. Yeah. And I only dropped three on grind in the end. Yeah. So I'm turn one. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you got almost. It was almost all of uh, your dropped six on grind. Sorry. Six on grind. Yeah. For yep. ninety-four. Yep. Nice, because um, you got to grind the yeah, I managed to forty-four the primary. Forty-four the primary. <laughs> yeah. How much did you get on assassination in the end? Uh, the I maxed it because yeah, because so so. yeah, got... I've got loads of characters. Yeah, your warlord for four. The prime. Yeah, the neuro throat, the two hive tyrants. Yeah, the prime. two primes and the two primes. Yeah, which would be max even. Okay, that, that, that was a really close. It looked like it was really close. Watching that turn one charge and then them all failing and then you just smashing all the outriders back. I mean, it was really, really incredible to see that sort of impact on the game. So well done for the, the White Scars. Well done for the Nids. Thank you guys for turning up. Thank you for sticking around this long, guys, and watching. We'll hope we catch you in another one. And, uh, you know, well done. You know, uh, White Scars with the armor contempt makes a difference. Really having does. that yeah and five of pin bonds if you can get them off it makes the grizzlies <laughs> stick around a bit longer <laughs> they stick around far longer than they have <laughs> so drop far a like between the one over here as well on the on the same so drop a like in the comments share and do all the other good things for the algorithm and we'll catch you in another one soon take care bye bye